It's the ship we've been flying on. This is what it looks like. No. Oh, they have jet engines? More or less. Yep. Skilled Oh, beautiful size. Jesus Christ. So it's not on oh. here. Why not? The hell? So these are all the gods across the world. So each different people doesn't necessarily worship every god on that list. They could have their own subsection. Why uh, do some of have some clouds wars over them? Cut this list down. <laughs> this is a bit much. Yeah. Unknown. Because you don't know that yet. Yeah, this seems these seem like uh, key things that we need to know. Why is Discord trying to tell me I need to vote? <laughs> so, the red lines mean that that particular god killed the other particular god. So wait, this wisdom creator god killed like four, four other gods? Yep. yep. Sounds like Zeus. Jesus. So, like... Is, is this a tiered list? So, like, Anu up at the top, is that the big bad? Like, I shouldn't say bad, but he's, like, the god ah! of gods. Yes. He's, like, the big G. Yes. And then the people at the top of the columns are, like, this is their domain, and then there are sub-deities in their domain? Yes. Okay. Uh, the big G and the domain gods are mostly hands-off. Well, domain God needs to get his wisdom and creator guy in check. He's out there wow. murdering other people. And the miniature grade lines? Uh, those are like relationships. Okay. So, like, Dagon and Aya came together to create a bunch of those gods is, and so, so it's on and so forth. Gotcha. So small. Holy making, shit. Making baby gods. So. Plague and War, Wisdom and Writing made Wisdom and Creator, and the Wisdom Creator screwed everything up. Sounds like some people were bad parents. What's the process in which they created other gods? Was it a... Uh, Use your imagination. You know, obviously, <laughs> god sex. Yeah. Dead, Missing. Yes. Wrong tomato. Challenge. Forgotten. Dying. <laughs> So, th this whole world is named after a god who's not even, like, the god. He's just some random uh, domain god. Mm. So, Enlil is recognized as being the creator of the world. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. There's things outside of our world that we don't yet understand. Also true. And as soon as the world was created, Nergal just had to plague it with war. Kind of his job. <clears throat> well, not before the Earth was created. What did he do? Uh, what did the God of War do before the world was created? Exactly. I mean, there was other there's other wars to be had. There's still war without a world. There There's war of the world. Giant sandbox to make wars in now. <laughs> There's a god for genocide. Yeah, bro. Hitler. Oh my god. <laughs> Hitler. But there's also a god of genocide uh, myself. Of social justice. Yes, there is also. A can uh, can. What's her name? Where'd she go? Ninkasi? Can she be my deity? The hell? I like that. Nancy's out there virtue signaling. Ninkasi? Where's that at? Uh, under oh. Enlil. I'll call it. Yeah, I figured that would be several of y'all's. I mean, that's the only one I really recognize. That and fertility. Uh, in the name of Kishoruk, I will 
reshape this world. <laughs> how does so? How does Nergal just asexually create the underworld? Wait, what? There's the underworld, and then you have like Lord of the Dead, Queen of the Dead, blah 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 blah. There's just a direct line going from Nergal to the underworld. I mean, uh, I would just imagine that he is constantly oh, feeding the full souls size. That's to ideal. the underworld. Mm. All right, yeah. So he had, he made soul love to the under. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Hey, some of these gods can be asexual. They don't have to ascribe to your your one size fits all oh. god sex plan. Um, it's actually Nergal and Enlil come together for the underworld stuff. Oh, no. Oh yeah, they do. Look at that. Yeah, barely. There's that little curve line. Oh, I missed that. Yep. Idiot. Where, where's your key? I would have thought you'd uh, have better lines using Vizio. <laughs> uh, I didn't use Vizio, so that's probably why. Okay. Well. What do we do with the list of gods? Whatever you Memorize want. Memorize them. Listen, listen for their names. <laughs> do I have to learn a whole stack every week and try and repeat every it back week. to you? That is correct. <laughs> there will be quizzes. Gotta make, I'll make a quizlet. Hold on. Oh, no. <laughs> Why is Lama not Greek alphabet all over again? Why when did you do that? My uh, first week of pledgeship. Same. Uh, what did we do? <laughs> Memorize the Greek alphabet. Mm hmm. Well, I learned Latin in middle school. I do you think you're cool, Chris? Kind of. I learned English without even trying. <laughs> <laughs> we, also, we also played this cool game in Latin called Mola. It was like checkers, but not. The English game that I play is called Complaining. <laughs> Do you really speak good. it? <laughs> Fluid. I need Joe to show up because yes. I need him to buy something on RuneScape and give it to me. Fuck. Any oh, you use them for the Pantheon? I'm I'm at my buy limit on this. Thing that I'm crafting, and I and I need more. You will find out the again? numbers eventually. Numbers? What? Surely. Oh. I mean, I'm gonna get these. nine cultists this game. Number brackets. Uh, I'm not kidding. I got six made. Oh, what cultists are you missing? Uh, two of them, Zillion and. Um, Jin. Also, what was the what I'm just sorry, happened? Aatrox. Aatrox. With the Callista on the bench. That's my chosen. Oh, gotcha. I don't need her on there because I already have six, and my other one has the items, and I'd rather get her to gold than have them combined than have to sell the one that's there to move the items. Does anyone have any guesses on the numbers? Uh. Uh. So, okay. Ryan, I'm going to say yes, but it's also because I've had longer to look at it. Yeah. I don't know how to make it bigger. Open original. Usually you just oh blow on God. it. <laughs> Changes everything. I've been using my magnifying glass. <laughs> two. I don't see two. goes up to seven. Oh. There's, there's multiple ones. Multiple yeah, there's multiple twos, too. Yeah, there's uh, a few multiples. The I don't fuck? see any numbers. Um, they're to the they're right. Dark, see. They're dark gray on a black background. For we, me, have, so. we have law and light in one. Oh, are Wild you using Wildfire and passion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No wonder. And mystery. Yeah, I'm using the far superior browser. It's a what nice light gray on mine. Crazy. So I can see literally everything. 
What are you? you... I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Uh, Firefox. Oh. Lame. Or something inside. I saw an ad for uh, the Opera browser gaming version. Ew. It was uh, something. It caught my attention, I'll tell you that. It looks stupid, though. It, like, has limiters on, like, you can have it limit, like, download speed on downloads and RAM usage and all kinds of stuff. Hmm. Now, whether it actually does that, that is the question. That was a dumb idea, I think. Hey, what did our what did our boy sign that she does? The era. Oh, fuck. Okay. That's got a war, right? Yes. Flag. Got a wait. What? He's not on the list. I'm just like. You know. Oh, okay. Are there at least? So. Uh, okay. okay, so the clouds are, we don't know their names, but that's what they're the god or goddess of. What are the red lines again? Um, red Murder. lines mean that they killed the other one. Murder! Jesus, wisdom and creator god killed four other gods. Fuck what an page. asshole. It seems very um, opposed to the, what the nature should be of someone named Wisdom and Creator. He created this was kind of all about it. He created destroying other people's creations. <laughs> <laughs> Only my creations. <laughs> so, quick, oh, creator, quick question. You create? Hmm. Breaking shit! <laughs> so, Ryan, uh, Isham, the number four fire god over here. Mm-hmm. He's got a green border, and mm -hmm. the green border in the key says it should be an unknown. Mm -hmm. But his name's Isham. No, we, we don't know what that key represents. Right. Oh, well, that's... So, so there's dead, so, and then so, specifically, it's not just unknown. It's we don't know what that represents. Right. Okay. But if you'll notice... That's on all of the ones that have a number next to them, or most of them. Yeah. So I see that dying is an option in the key. So the god of life is dying. But wait. Oh, I see. Okay, got it. I see it. As ironic, it ironic as that is. <laughs> Don't you think? I have. A, I have one question. So the. <coughs> The light green border means unknown and has a cloud. Mm -hmm. Like, Abigail Law is has the blue unknown order, but not cloud. Mm -hmm. We just we just discussed this. Oh, that was in deep. Never mind. What did you mean? Or what did you like discuss? It? Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, no. The we don't know what that part of the key represents. We don't know what gotcha. the green circle means. It's not green because it's unknown it's green but we don't know what is underneath unknown. specifically underneath that thing that says unknown <laughs> it could very well mean that they're they wait hand and foot on hey, era that, and they like they, okay so i guess my question is actually well, I, the only distinction i was trying to make is that <laughs> they some of them have clouds but the others don't what's yes what's but the cloud? not all of the green ones have clouds Right. Not all the clouds are green. What the means. Okay. Do we know what the clouds mean? These are the all clouds the gods. Mean what they like? They're just to to cover up the name of that god. Right. Okay. The borders mean specific things. We don't know what the green border means. Okay. Okay. But okay. all the green border. Does that make sense? Yeah, 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 that totally makes sense. 
but I see no correlation between the numbers. Um... There are multiple of each number type. Like, all two wisdom and writing. Does unchallenged mean does that no one's tried to like no other gods have tried to fight the other gods? Not just green, there are numbers blue and blue. Yeah. Colorblind man. It's more blue. <laughs> That's <is> correct. <laughs> it's more blue. <laughs> Thanks for being better eyes. <laughs> but only two of them. Yeah. There's only social justice. And rain and mystery. Social justice. I'd hate to get on her Facebook. <laughs> if we don't know what key mulligan means, and we have no idea what the number. And oh, this just means this is what their their domain is. We don't know who they are. I just need a zillion. That's all I need. What? How much does a zillion cost? Okay. Five. <laughs> Put our big children to bed. Okay. Appreciate it. But I helped a little. Bit. Guide. Generic. <laughs> Obviously, it's very generic. Minor <laughs> deity. Cat toy. Yeah, these are the... But if this is basically what these are. If someone rolls a nat 20 history check, I'll, uh, I'll give them a hint. Which Divine intervention. <laughs> Revision. From the god of destruction. I am an old man of history. Oh, it's better than my rolls recently. Yeah. Error. Oh, well. I saw the zero. I was so pumped for a yeah, second. Yeah, there's also two. One, there's three ones. Light. <laughs> in law. In writing. I was trying to look at like correlations between the gods that are in the same numbering pattern, but I don't <laughs> okay, think that's what do that. Oh, closer. There's not enough data points. Not enough. Dang it. Yeah, if there's anyone that should know this hit, it's definitely Alec. Alec or Herschel? Herschel. Yes. Yeah, so this is the big oh. G. Big G. These are domains. Wait, after the gods 15 rolls. Yeah, how many and then rolls? these are the minor deities in those okay. domains. Seven. On the eighth roll. <laughs> Question. Arrow flows. Is this some is is that like oh, arrow flows, so deity know. list something that uh, like our characters would know? He got this deity. Like, um, they got it on. They got it on. So on and so forth. The red arrows. Yes and no. Got yeah. These you would know ones. of them probably, yeah. but not. Yeah. You wouldn't officially recognize them. Yeah. Do the numbers have any indication of like, be, like? creation or like steps of creation like we start off with like ones would be like goddess of like creation of light and then there's like law and then it get down to like seven it's like fury and genocide is does that in anywhere in the ballpark sorry say that again is this is the numbers one through seven and the gods associated <laughs> with the numbers are those in sequential order of like steps of creation or life or anything like that like, you start off with light, law, mm -hmm. and you get down to, like, fury and genocide? Not necessarily. It is in some sort of sequential order, though, yes. <laughs> well, I figured that. They're numbers. <laughs> <laughs> you could have just said just no. <laughs> Not related to <laughs> life. Really no. Okay. How did you... Did, did Alec actually roll a deep nat, nat 20? After how many for the eighth, or oh, on the eighth oh never mind never mind i just saw yeah. all the other ones i thought that was everybody else rolling no mm -hmm. let's see here history yep oh so close No. Um. Uh. 
I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> I just want a zillion, man. Yes, you do. No, I don't. I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> no, because I know what the other bitch wants too. <laughs> So, so black is gods of exorcism, oh, okay? Oh. Uh, black is unchallenged, but you have two gods that both represent fire, and they just like, or, <coughs> I mean, three really, four if you count the main god. Do we know they, if Joe's showing up, that? or would we be able to go ahead and, you know, sing the national anthem and? Kick the ball. Play ball. I texted him. He didn't respond. So. Alec, I will say, take these at face value. You shouldn't, like, Google these. Okay. To get the wrong idea. So yeah. even, well, though, even though that, that, that person uh, is the god of that, you shouldn't. So knowledge of this, think of him that as to... that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Since since the deities haven't been, as far as my knowledge is correct, um, openly worshipped in a while, would knowledge of these gods be more similar to how we view, like mythology, like Greek mythology and uh, Roman mythology and things like that? Um. Or is it a little bit more... It's more like a Christian looking at, like, Buddha. Okay. I guess. Like, people... So they wouldn't know shit about him. <laughs> that too, yes. They've heard the name. Heard the name, Ouch. yeah. But some people worship him, type of thing. Okay. So, gods are worshipped in this world. Oh, yeah, yeah. There he is. Okay. Definitely. Are you going to share your hint, Alec? Oh, hey, or, potion seller. Uh, oh, potion seller. Wait, you gave no Alec a hint? Brilliant. Yeah, Alec, yeah that's, why, that's what he got for rolling a nat 20. I mean, what? okay. Um, yeah, unless you just the, don't want to play this game anymore. I, I mean, I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> What's the hint, Alec? The hint is that Kesh and Kishorook seem to strike a chord of similarity. Why are they striking that chord? What did the chord do? Kish and Kishar? Kesh. Okay. And Kisharuk. Okay. You know, the god of fury and genocide? Okay, cool, thanks. This is my TED talk, I'll be here all week. <laughs> when I say I don't want to play this game anymore, it's because... Uh... The man... Ooh. How many uh how many emperors were there? Uh where? Uh in in the empire pre previous to becoming Mesopotamia. There's like a, a a line of emperors, right? Uh there was. Yeah. Can I be Tits McGee? Were, were there 7 of them? No, there's definitely more. Ah, oh, damn it. The last one being Cash Kishra. Yes. Dude, all I want with my life is a zillion. I just want to see how cool nine is. That's all I want. A zillion what? Wishes? <laughs> oh, how do you, do we know how many there are? How many uh, emperors there were? More than seven. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Samantha ten, West Marsh only has 11, fucking 12, 13. Tits, that's it. Was it something else? What? More than that. What are you talking about? What? I mean, like, we're talking close to a thousand years of emperors. Got it. Maybe some of them reigned for like a really long time. Nice. I don't know. You still only have if you look at There's if nine. you look at the the kings of the uh, what was that what was that empire Sumerian kings. Some of them reigned for like. 300 years, 400 years. This is true. And uh, that's what all the continents are named after. Let's see Supreme Overlord Gallia. Stop it. Oh, yeah, get fucked, Eileen. 
<laughs> He's huge. Okay. What the f? Okay. Jeez. Take me and take Time of your sex tape. Rip. Yeah, I'll do it. I updated uh, Samantha Westmarch's PC page. <laughs> What does it what does it say about her now? Jesus Christ, that's a big Gallia. Is that Gallia? It says uh she has zero of everything, but in her inventory she has big old tits. Weight one forty five. <laughs> Biggest Discord chat I've ever seen. It's overwhelming. Hey, uh show so, how close are you to the Grand Exchange in RuneScape right now? I'm right beside the West um, Varric Bank, so like right there. Uh, would you be down to buy me a full stack of... Actually, I don't even think I need a full stack. Hold on. Let me recalculate. Maybe. I'm, I'm at, I'm at the okay. That was your recalculation noise. <laughs> Uh, Any other maybe, thoughts after the hint? Maple, mahogany, you. The hint. The hint. You longbows. I need seven. No. Level seventy. Seventy. At first, I thought Four. these uh, these lesser deities were just taking turns being the ruler, mm. and uh, oh, these okay. were the numbers. I forgot I had when moved. they ruled, but I have no clue. Should I haggle you to buy me nine thousand feathers oh and nine thousand mithril world, dart what tips? What is this? Sure, yeah, that sure. Is, that is death, sir. You are dead. Probably, I probably can afford that with uh, two mil, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I'll pay you back. Whatever it costs. 9,000 feathers, 9,000 mithril dark tips. Plus a 10% acquisition fee. Whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll honestly I'll, round it up to whatever you I legitimately got. told Jared he could have my account <laughs> at one point. So. <laughs> yeah, this is true. And a favor. And a favor? Dun, dun, dun. Favors. Nine, just nine thousand. You don't need the full buy limit. Yeah, just nine thousand. I've already bought the full buy limit. That's why I have to have you do it. I need like eighty-eight hundred, but I'm just gonna do nine thousand. It's easier that way. Nine thousand, and then nine thousand fevas. Oop! I went to ten on accident. Damn it! I gotta type in a fucking nine thousand. Jesus! Collect. Okay. We done with the Pantheon? I think so. I believe. Wait, hey, that thing. I mean, oh, are, we, are we done being confused? Doc is ready to I see that whip void? his sword out. Oh, you're in here. Oh, you're right there. Hello. Did you come to my server? Yeah, I hopped to you. <laughs> okay, I was going to say, I was like, where, what? Oops. I forgot you can't do that sort of thing here. Nope, that's what? not what I want to do either. What do I owe you? It was like uh, 67. Turn, turn. Yeah. It says yeah. in there for me. Look how it nice does. that is. I just saw that. Make it easy. Thank you. You're welcome. Smiley face. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll get started then. Keep. So last we left off, y'all were debating whether to go back to Mesnapata or stop at Dogar, or go straight to Mock Doom. Where are we currently? Over the ocean. Okay, we're still can on we the ship. A, we haven't landed map? anywhere. In between Kishar and Dogar. Can I, get a, yep. can I get a map, please? No. Yes. Can yeah. you guys hear me clicking? Yes. No. Not clicking. Really? I can hear everything. One, one said no, one said yes. So. I will always say yes. Oh, okay. That'll work. Uh, God, why is that? Okay, open original. Fuck. Uh, 
Okay. God, you have so many modules in here. Holy shit. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah. yeah. Have you just been adding one every time we have a session? Like, uh, not every time, but when I need something, I'll go and grab it. All right, so I am mo I'm at Mock Doom. Where are we? So you're going and... from Kishar to Dogar currently over the water. Um, Kishar. Okay, there's Kishar. Now, if I were Dogar, where would I be? Uh, Northwest of Mock Doom. It's orange. Northwest of. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see it. Dogar. Okay, so how far is that walk between Dogar and Mukdum? Well, you're on an airship right now, um, so you would get there. So you left kind of midday, and you'd get there the next yeah. morning. But you would... I believe the walk from Dogar to Mukdum was like it's five like days or something. Yeah, miles. it was like 200 miles said, or so. He said it was 200 miles, yeah. So yeah. Like, like 10 days, right? Yeah, it was, it was, it was like 10 or 11 trees. Or it's only like 20 trees for over, what, 200 miles. Yeah. Wasn't the argument whether um, Unity would be pissed or find out if we made it to Mock Dune or we went straight back down to uh, Mesnapata? Yeah, that was the, the original argument, but if um, they don't have enough supplies to make it to Mesnapata because they left in a hurry and they had to stop. There's nothing you can do about that. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, and now we're just hiding on Dogar and Mokdun. So you guys are discussing this. Uh, in the holds of the ship, um, you're kind of by yourself. In your yeah, room. room or like down yeah, in the bottom? In your own room. Alec, and we got a big-ass fucking room just for us. Uh, convinced the, the crew to stop in Dogar, right? Well, if I remember correctly... I don't know why I've all of a sudden taken on this accent. <laughs> Doc will find his his original accent at some point. I think it was more like this, maybe. Yeah, uh, more like that, yeah. Like so, there. the thing is, the crew already decided, they said they were going to go to Dogar because they needed, quote-unquote, more supplies. So I believe we're already headed to Dogar. Regardless, the issue is to do what we needed to be to get done. We needed to be in mock doom. So I don't know if anyone here's got any bright ideas, but all I know is we will be stopping in Dogar for at least a day or two, if the captain is honest. Well, I believe if uh, a component on the ship breaks that they don't have in Dogar, and Mok Dune's the closest uh, major port city to pick up parts, so we would probably have to make the, the trek there to get them. You're not wrong. Do we know how big Dogar is? I do Every surge right in, uh, <laughs> It was a, a smaller city. More Being a... a it, port city, but uh, more it being a probably between fifty and a hundred thousand people. It being a port city, do you think they would have the necessary supplies to fix an airship if something were to break? Oh, I I'd have to guess that probably don't have pieces for an airship. Maybe a a normal ship, being that it is a port city, a port and a waterside city, but. Uh, I would just have to imagine that they're not a, a well equipped to, to handle uh, an airship's repairs. <clears throat> if we are, you know, alone in this room, I would, uh, <coughs> I, I, I would, uh, I, would would ask that the uh, voices in my head stop. Uh, I would okay, would, right there, would, would ask right there. that that uh 
maybe we uh decide to uh first are you broke <laughs> he is uh having a seizure I, Copper top, I, you know uh, about oiling things up. Maybe he needs some oil in his in his joints. I am self lubricated. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I Whoa! Do. Ew! Uh, uh, we we need to uh, we need to find a way to get the ship on the ground. And you to a medical professional. <laughs> uh, what? Just, uh, do, do you need aid? Uh, yeah. There, there's a voice in my head that won't Great. stop. We need to, we need to get the ship on the ground now. What's the, uh, what's the voice there saying? It, uh, whatever we're doing is less important than uh, finding that staff that Unity asked us to. Is it a male or a female voice? It is a. Male voice. Uh, suddenly, you see. Does that break it down to a uh, fifteen people in the uh, engine? Suddenly, you see Herschel retreat into his shell and fall down onto the ground, and you see crackles of lightning uh, skipping over his shell. This is very important for me visually. Did he? He's fall a toaster. On, did he fall on his back, and are his legs just like? No, so air. he's completely inside of his shell right now, legs and all. Um, he fell on his belly. Dang it. Can I roll him over? Uh, yeah. I want to spin him like a top. I'm going to back <laughs> to the wall. This is freaking me out. You said there's electricity crackling over his shell? Yes. Oh, good God. Is it audible? Uh, I'm going to... Definitely audible. I'm I'm gonna run up to the deck to find the captain. Okay. I don't know if we should do that. <coughs> it, whatever is wrong with him, I don't want it happening while we're mid-air. If he explodes into some lightning fireball, I would rather us might, be on the ground when that happens. You may it might bring the ship down. Just, it's just, so different. just, I'm a little worried how we're gonna explain this. I don't no. even right now reckon how we explain it ourselves. Does it look like <laughs> Herschel is say. in pain? Hear, like, is we, he making noises, or is it you just hear like Herschel start to mumble, but you can't quite make out what he's saying? And in between him talking, you can almost make out like a speech pattern with the crackling of the lightning as it passes over his shell. What do you mean? Is like, the lightning staying on him, or is it like jumping out to other things around us? It is staying on him. His words are are being spoke with the same at the same time as the crackle. So it's almost like a conversation. So Herschel is mumbling. Ah. There's a pause, and then there's crackling in like a conversational type tone. Oh. like he's being possessed <clears throat> he starts you get to begin to make out some of the words uh, but it is in an unfamiliar language some of the words that he is saying that Herschel is saying yes I'm gonna run up on deck um, and look to the Southeast uh, is land in sight? Is it daytime? What what's the? Uh, it is sunset. Oh, red. Sand. So we're still surrounded by ocean. Yes. It's another red sunset. Another red sunset. If I was a superstitious man, I'd be worried. But I'm you not. begin to hear a repeating pattern as Herschel begins to repeat the same phrases. So how far out are we? Ocean. We weren't gonna arrive. We weren't gonna arrive at Dogar until the next morning, and it's sunset. So we're in the wait. What? We're, we're in the going across that giant channel. 
or little peninsula. We're in the air over the ocean. About six to eight hours away from Dogar. Why did we go out over the ocean? Would we be able it was to a talk straight to the captain path. and be like, hey, like, what is the closest Are we going from Dogar to Mokdim? Or Mokdim to Dogar? He keeps no. saying... Kishar to Do Dogar. Oh, Kishar. Okay, never mind. Never mind. As it was. As he continues talking, you recognize that he keeps saying the same eight phrases over and over. What are the eight phrases? We can't understand it. Can we attempt to write down or record the phrase? He's putting them in chat. Yeah. Um, but we don't, they're not even in a language we understand, so they wouldn't write it, trying to write anything down. It'd be like trying to write down someone speaking in Arabic. You're just not going to be able so to. He, he said I the voice. We write it down phonetically. He said the voice is telling yeah. him that um, the most important thing for us to do right now is go find the staff. Is that what he said? Yeah, that is what he said before he freaked out. Um, has Coppertop and the captain showed back up or showed up? Uh, no, Copper Top is still gone. Yeah, I mostly when I meant write it down, is write it down phonetically. Nice. Was that just to me, Ryan? No, it was to everyone. Oh, okay. Bunch of fucking gibberish. I thought I heard the little ding of a whisper. That's why I asked. Mm -mm. What? Oh, Copper Top, you good. eventually find the captain. Sir, we have a situation below deck for my members. Oh, yes? What might that be? I do believe he is unwell, and uh, the nature of his affliction seems like it might uh, have the potential to damage your ship. Where's the closest port that we can stop at? Well, that would be Dogar, but it's uh, quite some time away. <sighs> How fast do you think you can get us there? Well, that depends. How about we go have a look at your friend and see what we can do? If you must. So he begins to follow you down uh, into the bowels of the ship. Uh, you make your way down the stairs and down the hallway, and you come up into the room. You pull back the curtain of your room, and Herschel is out of his shell, and he's kind of rubbing his head. Is he like outside of the show, like yes. little little naked green boy? Uh, not out. <laughs> <laughs> he's crawled out. Not outside of the show. But... <laughs> he's back to normal. And your ass looks weird. Nothing but a stove what, in uh, there. Uh, <laughs> oh, back in... Uh, what seems to be wrong with him? Uh, he's <sighs> just laying there. Well, he's naked as a jaybird to start with. <laughs> <laughs> What happened? You tell well, us. Captain, it was like um, a oh, seizure oh, 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 of yeah. sorts. Yeah, he seemed to be having a seizure with um, what appeared to be electricity or lightning wrapped around him. Herschel, uh, do you remember what happened? Do you have some circuits in there? In that well, shell of yours? Copper top, you put circuits in Herschel. There's, there's, there's a few. What? What did you say happened? You were, uh, you withdrew into your shell after not being able to form sentences, and you kept repeating the same phrases over and over again. Dark raven, mad gibberish. I, I did. Yeah, yes, you, you did. Like a Christmas tree. Yeah, are there any, like, burn marks on the ship from that electricity? I, uh, I think I have a drink that could calm him down. Uh, I will be right back. Okay. The captain walks off, and you are alone again. He's gonna come back and ask him to slurp it through a straw. Herschel, you did mention, uh, a voice in your head telling you to go search out the staff. That was mentioned by Unity. Do you remember that? Vaguely, the uh, th that voice I've I've only heard it a few times, but if if I'm not mistaken, it was uh, that of Asalui. 
So have you heard this voice like is it is it, are these like recent occurrences or is this something that's oh this is something that has been with me for some time and in previous occurrences what was the nature of the communication uh, um, frankly I, I I can't seem to remember it, uh... you seem like counterproductive instances <laughs> well <laughs> This one, I, I, I do, I have been, you know, getting better at withstanding such the power of, of a voice that, you know, I, I can usually get through the, the first few times that, that he says things to me, but I, I, I guess I tend to black out after the, you know, first or second time I hear it, and, and then I can't, I can't stop until... Till I've, I've made it, you know, till he's, he's done trying to talk to me, I guess. This explains the mystery aspect of us Louie's namesake. <laughs> Good read. Yeah. You know, I, I, I vaguely remember the, the beginning having to do with that, you know, we needed to re retrieve the staff of the divine. And we had to, at all costs, keep it away from Unity. Rain and mystery. Any, did he give any reason as to why? No, but he said something about a, a temple north of, of Mach Dune that, that, that I, I think he said was, was his temple. That, that we were supposed to go to as well, but I, I mean, it's... It really is not coming coming back to me all all the way. Hey, uh, Herschel, would you mind would you mind sitting down real quick? And I pull up a little stool and shove him next to him. Would Would you like to would, would you like for me to get off the ground and sit on the stool or? No, no, no. I'm trying. <laughs> Go ahead and stay on the ground. I'll I'll come down to your to your level. <laughs> Although you're pretty big, so you're pretty much just right at my level. Um, I'm gonna pull out a little box. There's kind of you know some basic medicine man instruments and I'm going to be checking his senses and just kind of generally seeing how he is doing from a physician's standpoint I was trained in this uh, I didn't get the name doc for no reason <laughs> but okay. wouldn't you need to be a veterinarian go ahead and roll a medicine check for me Okay, uh, his vital signs seem to be mostly good. Um, he does seem a little dazed. I'm confused. Yes. Um, but as far as anything being permanently wrong or damaged or anything that, like that, he seems fine. Okay. I'm going to kind of keep the... I, I will have definitely checked legitimately, but I'm going to kind of keep the shroud up um, until the captain comes back. Okay. Uh, so what what makes you think we can trust Asa Louie and that they won't use this staff for their own purposes? I mean, I, I certainly don't know, but... Uh... You know, it's, you know, something that <clears throat> I genuinely had never intended to give Unity the staff. And, you know, should this be a sign or something rather similar, it uh, does seem that that would be the uh, best interest is to, to keep said staff away from him. And either happenstance, sounds like our best solution is to uh, go find us some new clothes at the temple you mentioned. Sounds like if we want some answers, that's the place to go. Does so he hear this voice in his head? I mean, when's the last time you've seen Herschel jump into a shell and spark light? I'm going to start convulsing and fall on the ground. <laughs> and then I'm going to get up and I say, Hey. The, the voices, they told me, you almost give me a foot rubbing. Carry carry me wherever we go. 
Ah, but where was your lightning powder? I didn't. I didn't have any yet. Mm. But I just heard voice. Not convincing. Of Slagamapui. <laughs> yeah, um, I might need to check your vital signs here in a second too. Wait. You said the tip was north of Maktoon, correct? Yes. Um, I see no reason why we can't uh, land, make our way to Maktoon, and then if we so decide, make our way north to maybe look into uh, Asalui a little further. <laughs> see what the motives are. Can you think of any reason why uh, he would have a relationship with you? Why he would use you as his vessel? Well, where I come from, he is, you know, well known. He is not our uh, end all, be all, and father of all, but he is the uh, he is certainly something that is to be worshipped. He is, uh, you know, where where we come from, he is rain and mystery, but also uh, quite involved with with storms and things of unknown power. I I do not know why he would have chosen to to speak through me or to, to even speak to me. I guess it's, you know, I've been around uh, long enough that I, I might have strayed too far from, you know, the teachings that we were given as this tiny little turtle folk, but... You're like a turtle monk, huh? Well, no, we just, you know, we're, we're all raised on the same pantheon there, and, you know, we, we know which gods to, to respect, and, well, I guess all of them, but... We know which to. I, I I would say trust, but that may be the wrong word. But we know which ones are out of malintent and which ones are not. I always just assumed the whole lot of gods were up to no good, only wanting to, you know, provide their own entertainment. But if you say there might be some good ones, I'll I'll give you give you the benefit of the doubt. But uh, if it's us, Louie, if she ain't got, if she happens to have any information on it, Unity, uh, I think that's a reckon to good idea to go find out, even if it's I a long shot. Th- I would I imagine think we might need to uh, call him a she again. He might smite you down with the <laughs> staff of the divine himself. See, I think we might need saying. to have this conversation on a less <clears throat> unified ship. Um, <laughs> Herschel, you. After checking you, you don't seem too well, and I think uh, I think it'd be better if you rest up a bit and, until we can make it to Dogar, and, and uh, I can actually um, get some more supplies and, and and see how you're doing a little a little bit better. But right now, it would seem that you are very very unwell. Wink, wink. It's I'm not point. sure how long it's going to take you. To, I will say this as if you were going to say, if, is the captain coming back? Yes. He's like okay, walking I, in as you say that. Okay. I, I I have no idea how long it might take for you to rest up, but I can guarantee you, you will not be able to travel for a decent amount of time. I, I just won't be able to check until we can reach um, some type of settlement where I can get you in a comfortable <laughs> room. Oh, captain, captain. Um the issue is actually fairly grave. Um, I am a medicine man, um, as my father was before him, and uh, I've seen this once when he was treating someone, and uh, I think it might be some sort of, I don't know, a, a, a curse that's affecting his his physical nature, and I, I need to get him to a safe place where I can do some more checks on him, but I'm not sure if we can... If we can, how much longer he can survive on this ship. I see. Well, I suppose we can uh, increase our speed by about 15%. Uh, We should be able to get there soon. 
Anything is greatly appreciated, Captain. This is a very grave issue. Indeed. I would uh, suggest, and I know you're a captain of a ship, you, you know these things too, but I would suggest not mentioning this to some of the crew. I, I don't think they would like to know of, of the nature of some of the things that might be affecting him, and I would like to get him off this ship and, and not have to uh, potentially harm your crew. Uh, I just need to see what's actually going on, and I need to be able to get some more instruments in an actual city. <coughs> see uh, yes uh, 15 percent we can do uh, thank you thank you I'll be sure maybe to keep I it to can uh, well maybe not in the state I'm in but oh, did, did you bring that drink captain oh yes there you go uh, he hands it to you doc um, I'm gonna sniff it just a few swigs How do you know and then a little more later captain I you know, I, I am a, you know, craftsman myself. Maybe if you uh, had some blueprints of of the engine, maybe I could could modify something to where we could in, increase this speed a little more. I, I'm not feeling too well. Herschel, Herschel, he's doing everything he can. In your state, you need to rest. Here, drink this, drink this. I will see what I can do. And the captain leaves. Hopefully that'll it? speak. Um, I'm gonna sniff it first. Do I? Why do I smell? <laughs> uh, it seems like a normal medicinal drink. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll take a little swig too. <laughs> a small swig, and then I'll hand it to him. Yeah, you notice it kind of numbs your lips and your tongue and your throat as <laughs> you take a little drink. Yep, this is the good stuff. Herschel, you'll, you'll at least enjoy it. I mean, you need this because you're so ill, Herschel. <laughs> We're alone again? Yes, you're alone again. Uh, is there a window? Uh, yeah, port window. Can I, can I pour about two sips out the window? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay. For your dead homies? Yeah. He's going to waste it. I, I, I mean, it I mean, yeah, bad. it's not bad. It just numbs you up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm trying to take a nap myself. Yeah, well, for what comes next, we're, we're going to need all the, the feeling we got. That's what she said. <laughs> well, hopefully this will speed us up. And I think I think when we get into Dogar, we might need to uh, find an establishment to uh, oh. let you rest up. Doc. Yes. Uh, I hate to to break this to you, but but we're not going to Dogar. And I'm gonna leave the room on that note. Okay. This might fit into so, the narrative that I've just created about him <laughs> being cursed. So <laughs> I'm just gonna stand there and be like, huh, and feel my lips and how numb they are. Huh. This is pretty weird. I haven't had this in a while. Where the hell are we going? I'm gonna stumble down the hallway, acting as if I down would be my guest. <laughs> Sylvester, down. Uh, looking for either the captain returning with plans or just wandering towards the engine room that we've already been shown. He um, is not going to return with plans. Okay, well then we will be headed to the engine room. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jonathan, uh, Eric, keep going. Y'all may want to go follow Herschel. I, I... Uh, yeah, I will be going, and I will be barring the door from the inside. <laughs> okay. Okay, sure, I'll go. So you guys, you hear Herschel walking down the hall. Uh, you kind of poke your head out to see where he's going. You see him head straight into the engine room, and you hear a loud bar slam behind the door. Bad news, any, guys. Can't go. Anyone in the room with me? No, just you. Okay. <laughs> um. 
what kind of engine did we say it was? Just uh, I'm assuming it's some sort of steam. But, uh, Six cylinder. So it's like a crystal um, with several rotating rings around it. Uh, with a, a bunch of like cables siphoning off energy uh, that go to the engines themselves. So this is more of like the fuel source, per mm -hmm. se. Yeah. Um, where do the cables go? Uh, they go to the actual thrusters themselves. So, like, I'm assuming, the, are the thrusters in this room, or are they, like, on the outside They're, of the ship? Yeah, like, on the outside of the ship. Um, but these cables just, like, leave through the floor? Yeah. Are they coupled to the floor, or do they just, like, disappear into the floor? Yeah, disappear into the floor. Like, there's, uh, like, holes that they travel into. Um... There's no controlling mechanisms in here. It's just the crystal and, and channels. Yeah, so controlling mechanisms would be up top. Um, like where they steer and stuff like that. But okay. think of this as like a mini reactor. Yeah, that's why I don't want to touch it. Um. <laughs> Doc. <laughs> cool. Yeah. What? I, I guess I'm gonna, you know, grab the the cables and see what they're made of. Uh, so they're coated with like a uh, like a rubberized material. Uh huh. Um, but they're stiff on the inside. Like a not metallic stiff, but just like hard. Um. Tubing. Or... Yeah, metallic stiff. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna spend a, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna spend a minute or two um... turning my hand into a, uh... arc welder <laughs> with my electricity coming out of a finger. Okay. Is anyone um, gonna do anything? We're not in the we're not in the room with him. No. You well, I tried to see Jonathan and Eric to follow him, but he shut the door before the we door. could get there. Uh, I'd like to go up to the uh, the engine room door and bang on it. And Her Herschel, what are you what are you doing in the Herschel? I'm I don't think gonna... you should... I'm gonna start cutting. You hear the tinkering sounds as he's transforming his arm into this. Uh, <laughs> torch yeah just a, a torch basically <laughs> oh that's not good and you hear the uh basically gas light just oh, co copper top cop is this is there another you can do like pie situation is what is this another like pie situation pie <laughs> <laughs> no he's engineering it to fail <laughs> he's not actually cursed Crazy? Maybe. You, you don't know that. Eh, you're not wrong. I don't, actually. Alec, but he seems pretty sane on my on my legitimate metal ch medical check. Alec, you make it through the first cable, and you feel the ship start to shudder. I'm going to cut geez. two the next time I cut through them. Okay. Oh, Jesus crap. Uh, and really, I just want to cut open enough where I can grab it and kind of bend it upward. Okay. Uh, you guys outside the room... You hear the captain shout, 15% is too much. Bring it back down to five. Okay, I'm just going to... How many cables oh, no. are there? He thinks it's because he sped up too fast. There's eight. How long is it going to take me to get through six? Uh, I don't necessarily know if you'll need to get through six. Um... Can I cut? I'm assuming that they're on like four go to the left and four go to the right. Yeah. Can I cut the four on the left? Yes. Okay. So you cut to, you cut through the two, and you feel the ship <coughs> start to slew to the left. 
Uh, oh, no. And you guys kind of start sliding towards the wall. And the ship is starting to turn over. I catch myself. <laughs> <laughs> you cut through the last cable. And you feel yourselves start to become weightless as the ship begins to rapidly descend. Sweet. Are we still over the ocean? Yes. Yeah, why? Oh. Uh, you hear screaming from the top deck. I tried to get there, but one thing I didn't want to Herschel? Uh, I would like to push off the wall towards the door, mm -hmm. assuming that we're still weightless, even though I'm like 700 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, and would like to rip the, the, the bar off the door. Okay. And I would like to do it. Is there like a sheet nearby? Yeah. Like a bed sheet. Yeah, I'd like to jump out the window and hold the sheet <laughs> above my head. Okay. Uh, so, you guys see Jonathan just like frantically grab a sheet from the bed. <laughs> I'm going to secure him. Uh, tie it around um, his waist. And before you can reach him, Coppertop, he kicks out the porthole window and climbs through. I'm going to grab the sheet then, which he is most certainly dragging behind him. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Goodbye, guys. I, Jake, you are now hanging from the side of the boat. <laughs> uh, you're you're on top of the boat, so you can like stand up on this thing. <laughs> it is like completely under you. This is the boat is like hardcore going down in my mind. <laughs> The boat is like hardcore sideways right now. Yes. Oh, that's good. So I'm um, standing I would on like the to wall. Have made it out of the out of the engine room. Okay. And uh, look down the hallway to see if my friends were anywhere in sight. Yes. So there, uh, a few of them have fallen. Uh, like in the hallway, uh, uh -huh. you see Copper Top holding onto a sheet that goes up into a room that you can't see. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna turn back and yell at Herschel. I, s I really hope you know what you're doing, Herschel. <laughs> Um, I'm going to start yelling at them to get to the top and to find a lifeboat. Do I see a lifeboat from where I'm at? Is, oh, is yeah. there a lifeboat on the ship? 100%. I see a lifeboat. What, they what does a lifeboat lifeboats? on an airship do? Does it just fall? Yeah, what is an air lifeboat? Is this like the Indiana Jones scene where it's like the inflatable lifeboat that flies? And I'm definitely the... going to climb up the window next to Jonathan. Okay, so you grab the sheet and start hoisting your way up. Uh, Jonathan, from the weight of Doc, uh, your ass falls into the porthole as Doc is climbing up this thing. Hey, uh, hold idiot. still up there. I don't have much of a choice. Doc gets a good footing and releases uh, the sheet to where uh, Jonathan can move again. And Doc kind of gives your ass a little shove to push you out of the porthole. Great noise. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just gonna crawl up there and stand or go to my hands and knees and just be like, "Oh boy, what do we do now, little man?" I would say pray, but that's what got us into this mess. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how to work the lifeboat, but I'm going to get in it. Is the porthole big enough for all of us to crawl through it? Mm -hmm. Except maybe Herschel. Um, it doesn't matter because I've made it to the hallway and uh, turned on my go-go uh, -go gadget boots. Okay. And I am Kool-Aid manning through that porthole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna grab onto Herschel's shell. I wish I would have created more gadgets before we started this game. I'm grabbing on to Copper Top then. So Jonathan and Doc, you <laughs> see, crane. you see the side of the ship explode as Herschel. Uh, Doc, or not Herschel, uh, Herschel, Coppertop, and <coughs> Sylvester come blasting through this, the wood of the ship. 
Herschel, I'm not usually one to care much about money, but like, if you have the chance, you should probably go fix the boat because I don't think we have enough money to buy this boat. And like, I think they're probably gonna guess it was you because like, I don't know, I don't really know who else could have done it. So, uh, argue that, please. I'm gonna look down. How far are we from the water? Uh, so y'all were about twenty thousand feet up, and you're like getting very close. You're about halfway through. Halfway. Herschel, did your ears start, stop working when that guy started to talk to you? Because like, I don't know if you're listening to me, but please, oh my, what is going on? <laughs> Um, I'm gonna start trying to. Ain't gonna be much boat to find or pay for eventually, so just don't worry about that part. I'm gonna. I think at this point, if there's anybody else below me still, mm -hmm. they're gonna die. Um, I'm grabbing them by the back of their shirt and throwing them towards Jonathan. <laughs> okay, so you talk, toss Eric and Hugo towards Jonathan, who fall ah! flat on their face and skitter along the side of the boat and start sliding towards the, the top railing of the ship. Idiots. Idiots? I, I ran with idiots? I'm just like clawing at <laughs> I get that, deck. Get that boat ready. Hugo, you I'm slide far enough. Mustache? I'm Hugo. leaving the country? <laughs> <laughs> Hugo, you slide far enough along the railing uh, to where you can actually see through the railing. And you see several of the sailors uh, clinging onto the bottom side of the railing, hanging off as the ship is falling. You also see several lifeboats uh, strapped to the side of the ship uh, that are tied up. I'm gonna go. A little farther down, you do see a couple uh, sailors that have completely lost touch with the ship, and they're just kind of floating through the air. Oh, boy. What in the blue fuck is going on? Hugo, what do you see? Can you I'd access like a lifeboat? Start running towards the, the lifeboat. We're all gonna die! <laughs> I'm gonna go run towards... <laughs> did, we ever, did we ever confirm what, what the fuck a floating lifeboat is? <laughs> nope, but we're about to find out. <laughs> I'm, I feel like I'm nimble enough to uh, start making my way towards the lifeboat, and I just, like, wave everybody... Down. This away! I'm never Turns taking an amphibian with me on a boat ever again. I'm crawling towards the lifeboat. <laughs> uh, cloud god that we read about earlier, please? <laughs> I'm gonna go, I wanna go run in, uh, where those sailors are hanging off, I'm gonna go try to pull them up, and I'm gonna scream at, uh, what's-his-face? Slide! Come over and help these guys get up! How many people can fit on the lifeboat? Well, there's, they said there was a bunch of lifeboats. Oh, okay. I heard plural, at least. Have we, uh, the rest fuck of us made it? Fuck those guys, I'm trying to get off here. Jake, who, Jake, who is your buddy? Sly. No, 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 no. Session one. Session one? Yeah. Oh, Nick. Nick, Nick B. Wolfwood? Yes. Thank you. Nick okay. Nick Wolfwood. <clears throat> That's from Trigun. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so you grab. That's a, of, that's a man of culture right there. You pull out the dagger that Nick had given you previously to all these adventures happening. Yes. Uh, you walk up to Copper Top and you cut the sheet out of his hands. You go over to the side railing that you're sitting on top of and you tie it, tie the sheet to the railing, and you start to rappel down to the bottom railing. And start helping some of the sailors up. I'll go to the top area, at the top of the sheet, and start well, helping pull them up too. Uh, keep in mind, you're still tied to the sheet as well. Yes. <laughs> Have we? Uh... So it's like tied in two places. I'm like a yo-yo. Mm -hmm. Made it to the boat. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, yes, you've made it to the boat. Uh, you're trying to get it unsecured. Uh, but you cannot quite seem to get the ropes undone. Yeah, I'm just cutting them with the torch. Okay. Uh, so you cut the ropes, and the boat starts to float as the air currents catch it. Uh, so, it, so they can fly? Oh no, Jonathan, hurry up, the boat's floating it's, away! It's more like being blown around oh. as y'all are falling. Just catch me on the way by! I think it's lighter than we are. Do they at least glide down? Yeah, do they glide? Do you, can you, do you aim them? Mm 
think the, the you haven't worked we, out the mechanics of the we, lifeboats yet? <laughs> unintentionally killed ourselves. <laughs> Jesus. These, these are more uh, waterborne, waterborne lifeboats. I <laughs> Everyone go back and sign and grab a sheet. We need parachutes. Yeah. <laughs> I had one! That one's cut into pieces! That's, that's, that's alright, like, I'm light enough. That's like putting lifeboats on a sea ship that only work on land. Yeah, I mean, regardless, it's what's happening. Nah, yeah, it's like putting, uh, you know, like, lifeboats on an airplane, not parachutes. Hmm. I don't think we need to try and figure out the semantics of what's happening! <laughs> It's like my spare tire on my car, which is actually it. just a boat. <laughs> we should sacrifice one of the little people. No! <laughs> them over! Are you, are you offering yourself there, Jonathan? I have done the calculations. The little people are the only ones who... I would say heck no, but like, I'm a reformed man after today. My terminal velocity is lower than yours. <laughs> higher, higher than yours? Lower. Higher. Lower. Higher? Lower. <laughs> lower. 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 Higher? Oh, it would be Mine lower. Lower. Is definitely lower. the highest right now. <laughs> yeah. I think it's um, the aerodynamic 500 pound turtle is definitely going to be the highest. I'm oh, going so. to pull John. out my bedroll, okay. unroll it, and try and catch air underneath it while holding on to it. Okay. At this point, I think we're all going to die, so I'm just trying to save my skin right here. <laughs> Uh, Jonathan, you managed to save three sailors who are now just clinging to whatever they can on the side of the boat. Wonderful. Boys, what do you do in this case when a ship's going down? We're all gonna die! Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. <laughs> uh, how, how do these lifeboats work? Um, do we wait till we hit the water? <laughs> are we above water? What are we, where are we? Yep, above water. Yeah, can we see what's like below us? Above yeah, open blue. ocean. Blue. Just blue. Mm -hmm. Really As kind blue. of dark blue because it's pretty much nighttime. In the distance, uh, you hear thunder clap. <clears throat> that, that wasn't me this time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the clarification. <laughs> Hey, Do these sailors... Is your Swahili, Swahili god gonna come help us, or are we just making <laughs> terms with our maker now? Absolutely. That one. Alec, you managed to get the boat under control. Uh -huh. uh, and get it right side up on the top of the ship. Okay, well I'm throwing everyone in that I can. Question. Mm -hmm. How does my um, bed roll parachute how is it functioning have i caught air <laughs> uh it is beginning to catch air yes you feel your <laughs> your boots starting to leave the what is the now deck of the boat which is the actual <laughs> side of the boat all right i'm going to try and i don't know <laughs> try and maintain control as this thing catches air Okay. Do well, the sailors like, with my religious insight here and figure out what God I need to start praying to? <laughs> have the sailors uh, well, answered? If you save any of them, you can save to... me because I am fearfully and wonderfully made, <laughs> <laughs> and I promise that I will cuss less. I don't. I never steal, so I won't have to promise against that. Um, yeah, you should pick me. You should probably be praying to Lama, the goddess of protection. Yama. Yama. I yeah. love it. I'm gonna try and yell out at Jonathan to use his bed sheet. For what? I tried that already. Well, You're something's really nice happening with me right as I'm me floating away. Ocean, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. This is a bad move. If I look around, do I see Kylan? You do not. Oh, gosh, Kylan. <laughs> I am fucking booking it back downstairs. Goodbye, <laughs> got about her. <laughs> okay, so, Doc, uh, you are now a solid 15 feet above the boat, and it is descending away from you. 
Am I am I floating steadily? You are um, following less quickly. <laughs> is there still like a decent amount of air underneath this, or is it more like flapping like it does when parachutes get tied up? You have some air, but not much. It's gonna hurt when you hit for sure. Well, I'm going to grab, grip on tighter and try and just slightly wiggle it enough to try and hopefully open it up and get some more air underneath it. Okay. <laughs> this is Doc's goal. He's never been in this situation, and this is what he's trying to do. So most everyone is in the boat at this point, and suddenly you see Herschel jump out of the boat and go back I make inside it? the hole. Okay. Um, question, I don't remember what the uh, exact properties of of what they were um but did the eyes see through things or no. the eye they do not no it does not see through things it can only see what's in front of it yes okay oh um yeah i guess i'm going to crawl i'm going to crawl back up into the ship as well Okay. And I'm going to go straight toward the engine room. <laughs> so you start uh, climbing up your little sheet. You untie it and jump back down into the hole. Uh, you see Herschel frantically looking around. Herschel, off in the distance, you hear uh, someone yell your name. Like, Herschel, uh -huh. help me! Yep. You that start... Direction busting open doors, and in the cargo hold, you see Kylan uh, trapped underneath several boxes. Um, would like to just start either like smashing them or like throwing them. Okay, so you start digging your way into this cargo hold. Uh, Jonathan, what are you doing? I'm going to the engine room. Okay. You, you head and... to the engine room. Yeah. So when I, when I'm in the engine room, you know the uh, the big glowing crystal that was powering this thing. Mm -hmm. Has any any of it like sharded off or anything? Uh, you see several cracks appearing in it. Yes. Okay. Um, then I'm gonna insert my dagger into it, like into one of the cracks. Uh huh. <coughs> and I'm gonna grab one of my rocks out and just start smashing at this thing, trying to get a couple pieces off. <laughs> okay. So you immediately, uh, as you do this, the ship starts just spinning in the air. Uh, you manage to get... Uh, let me roll. You manage to get three pieces off. Wonderful. Uh, just like our size, our size fingers. About that size. Perfect. I'm gonna stick one rock in one my right shoe, one rock in my left shoe, and one rock under my hat. And I'm gonna dive out the window again. And I'm gonna start praying to Llama. Okay. <laughs> uh, you do leave three of your uh, sling stones there as a replacement. Oh yes. Wonderful. Um, I'm a man of character. Herschel, as the boat starts spinning, uh, some of the boxes get flung away, and you manage to make it to Kylan, and you just like freaking sparta kick the last box that's on top of her okay. and it flies up against the wall and shatters as an agile turtle uh we are the water is rapidly approaching delicately picking her up and then slinging her over the shoulder <laughs> okay jake what are you doing well whenever i dove out the window did i did i feel any any sort of change of gravitational pull? Um, yes, but you are now spinning in the air. <laughs> like a gyroscope? <laughs> More or less, yes. <laughs> well, then I want to start vomiting everywhere. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, no, I'm just, I think I'm just sending out my prayers at this point. Okay. Uh, so Jonathan, you sling her over, not Jonathan, uh, Herschel, you sling her over your shoulder and you start making your way back up to the top of the ship. Uh, as you get to the top, you see that the water is no more than a thousand feet away. 
And all this has happened in like a minute. You sling her into the boat and you see Jonathan uh, spewing vomit everywhere. Just spinning in the air. It looks like he's passed out at this point. Um, does he still have his uh, bed sheet spinning around with him? Yes. <laughs> Are we within range to grab the bed sheet? He looks like a kite flying through the air because he's got all of his limbs just like extended. <laughs> On a side note, I just did some light reading, and what would happen if you fell from this height is your femurs would go through your armpits. <laughs> oh, wonderful! <laughs> so, <laughs> there's that. <laughs> femurs. Dude, look up uh, uh, what would happen if a gnome sized person. I'm currently <laughs> doing that. <laughs> Are we close enough to grab the bed sheet? Uh, make a... How high up are we? Mm. Thousand feet. Make an acrobatics check. But you've been falling since 20,000 feet. Yes. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay, so as you... don't have a go-go gadget claw in there? <laughs> you reach for Do the not... bed sheet. Uh... <laughs> But you slip off the side of the railing. Uh, as you're falling down, though, into the air, you do have a claw that lunges back to the railing and grabs it. So you swing down and hit the side of the boat. <laughs> you get through the wall? <laughs> uh, no, but several of the boards crack. You just bang your head off the side. <laughs> How far down are they all from me now? Mm. And have I gained control, or am I still falling pretty fast? You do have control, yes. Well, we'll see. Uh, okay. They're about... Up, so. mm, probably about a thousand feet below you. Okay. At this point, I'm just kind of, like, thinking back on my life and gripping tighter onto this bedroll. <laughs> Would like to try and pull myself up in the last few seconds that I have mm -hmm. as a whole turtle. Oh my fucking god. Okay. <laughs> so I will say I just rolled for this. Uh, Didn't feel, sound good. You feel a gust of wind uh, come by you, and Jake comes like flying towards you, Herschel. Can I catch him with my other arm? Absolutely. Okay. So you catch him. Uh, he is completely limp at this point, and the bed sheet uh, is just flapping around. Um, I'm putting the bed sheet in my mouth, <laughs> okay, and using two hands to climb up the okay. rail. So you pull yourself up the railing. You see that everyone is inside the boat. Um, as you are running towards the boat, you fling Jonathan into the boat. And you hit the boat with your shoulder, and it goes flying off this ship into the midair. You grab onto the side of the the boat, uh, and you kind of swing under it to where where your shell is going to make the impact. Okay. Good knowing you boys. Been quite the journey. To watch y'all die. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me get this right. He just knocked off the, the lifeboat. Yes. Off the main boat. Off the main and boat. And swung swung to the underside, so his shell takes the. Impact I am now the water. Yes. The first thing to hit the water, ripping I'm onto jumping, the water. I'm jumping. I'm jumping in that boat. You are already in the boat. Okay, let's do this. Yeah. There, there's no like parachute on the boat. They didn't design these to actually like deploy from altitude. That's some confidence. <laughs> I mean, yeah. These have always worked. Like, they have not had a... Malfunction. Malfunction. These are like... Well, they probably never had an amphibian <laughs> cut through their engine wires before, either. This is like... Call the classic... me an amphibian one more time. <laughs> 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 uh, 
See what happens. I don't know if you heard any There's too much air rushing by your ears. Danny runs to him. Uh, so you guys grab onto Jonathan as he swings into the boat. And the bed sheet gives just enough drag to where he's, the big ship starts to pull away from you. And you start gaining distance away from it laterally. You see the ship collide with the water, and it just explodes. Um, not Michael like it, Bay. not like in a fire. fire, not in a fireball, but it just like shatters into like a million how, pieces. How many people were still in that boat that Herschel just murdered? At least three. Hey, Herschel, you're murder. <clears throat> the water comes up at you extremely quickly, just before impact. There is a ginormous uh, release of electrical energy that dampens the blow of your fall. And you make impact with water, and everybody falls to the bottom of the boat, and you see Herschel's hands start to slip away. What did that look from my height? Was that Can just insane? Hands? So you saw the boat explode, and mm -hmm. then you just saw like this giant cloud of electric charge emanate from the lifeboat. Bigger and... than the actual explosion of the bigger boat. Oh god, they're all dead. They're all dead in my mind. Everyone's dead. Uh, you do see the intact form of the lifeboat, though. Oh wow. I still think everyone's dead. <laughs> just got struck by lightning. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just wondering what he's going to do. He's yeah. still falling at a reasonably fast pace, yep. and he's not going to have an electric charge go on to save him. Nope. Uh, you said Herschel's starting to fall there? Yes. I would like to grab his hand. Okay. So I can berate him later for this uh, giant. So you miss his hand as it slips away, but you dive into the water and grab on to the side of the boat and grab his hand, but now you're stuck underwater because Herschel weighs like 800 pounds. I will attempt to help him. Okay. Uh, <laughs> everybody who's attempting to help, strength please. Is there some way I can do this with my dexterity? No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe use my staff as a leverage item. Put it on the side of the boat for a fulcrum. I'll take a 15, though. It's not bad. God, it's a but we're in the water, so, you know, displacement, right? Of yep. mass. Uh, so you managed to pull up Sylvester, who also pulls up Herschel onto the side of the boat, who is uh, incapacitated. Fucking tortoises who can't swim. Land turtles. Suddenly you see this large splash of water about 30 feet to the right of you guys. Uh Doc, you do take 23 points of damage. Oh, I was, I was thinking it was going to be like... Whew. Hey, your oh, fingers God. didn't go through your armpits, bro. <laughs> Am uh, I conscious? You it's are conscious. Like a... Yes. Uh, however, you do feel that several things are broken. Patrick, whenever it's... Oh, yeah. I just start flailing to try and make it to the surface. Uh, some of you do you see... Like Where the <laughs> fuck am I? I don't think I ever made it on the oh, boat. Yeah, yet. you were on the boat. Oh, okay, thank yeah, God. non-rigid arms now. <laughs> Herschel was, like, throwing all of you guys into this thing. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. We wouldn't die! Yeah, I, I missed getting thrown in the boat as well, so... Okay, I tried to use a bedroll as a parachute. Uh, you now see Doc flailing in the water about 30 feet away. 
I wonder how much it would hurt for this, though. I'm dead! <laughs> so, uh, if anyone's curious, the terminal velocity for me and Hugo is 1,200 feet per second, and we would reach 1,130 by the time we hit the ground. So, oh my God. we would be like 60 feet per second s slower. So, we would just have severe internal bleeding. Yeah. <laughs> See, I did the math. You were the only ones who would survive. Yeah, we would have survived. What about drag? I mean, it was with generic drag coefficient of 0.29. See, which Jonathan, is just, uh, Jonathan would have if you're drag yourself with out. Sheet, though. That's true, yeah. But, I mean, I wasn't taking into account his, <laughs> his <laughs> rags. I was looking at my tiny size. That was all I was yeah. looking for. And he has uh, the lift from whatever magic stones he has in his hat and his shoes. That uh, doesn't give him lift. That gives him spin. Kylan, whatever. Kylan dives into the water and starts swimming towards Doc. Uh, Doc, she makes her way over to you and grabs you and starts kicking as hard as she can, but she can't quite keep you up. You're slowly still going under the water. I'm trying my sh my darndest to also paddle uh, with whatever still works in my body. Yeah, uh, you don't have one of you don't have use of one of your legs. That's good. Been there. <laughs> Anybody? What do you? What do y'all want to go help the the girl? Help! Catch my breath. We're drowning. Kylan, let go. This is the end for me. You need to make it. You're young. Gargle, gargle. Oh. No, I'm gonna save you. Uh, who's lost the use of one of our legs? Uh, Doc, the guy who used a bedroll. Damn it. Doc's our Doc. He can't patch himself up. Do we even actually have a healer in our group? No. <laughs> we <laughs> did, <laughs> but he got taken for, you know, healing. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy how that works. So this is where me and Kylan both die, because no one else jumped in to save us. Well, there's a bunch of people I, that I are passed out. Pocket, yeah, if I remember correctly. So oh, everyone's far, passed out. We have Alec and Jonathan who are passed out. I'm still conscious, right? Yeah. Yes. I mean, I, I will attempt to round up the people who, uh, if anyone's outside the boat. Yeah, just Kylan and Doc at this point. Okay. I'm gonna go. I mean, I mostly float. I'm primarily wood. <laughs> Tyler, your sex tape. <laughs> uh, you grab one of the oars as you jump in and you paddle over there and get Doc and Kylan uh, to grab one of the oar. It gives a little extra float. And you make your way back to the lifeboat. Waste them in. There is something fucking beeping in my office and I don't know what it is. Beep! I'm going to start frantically digging in my bag. Okay. And I'm going to pull out one of my healing darts. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to EpiPin the heck out of my thigh. <laughs> okay. Remember, it's tactics, but I'll figure that out in a little bit as we do our things. Healing oh, there dart. it is. Oh, hey, I could heal you. Are you conscious? Yeah. Uh, yes. I'm very healthy. Oh, that would be that would be really nice because I don't remember how to use this. I'm my brain broken. Broken brain. Got it. It's okay. You're okay. Uh, there you are. Boom. Bandage. Yeah. Thank you. I didn't heal you all the way, but if there's some. It's that's mostly... that's good. That's good. I think maybe my leg won't drag as much this time. Yep, still <laughs> still broke, but better. It's Not quite as stabilized. draggy. Yeah. It's splinted up. And... Well, let's see, I have some fire. I can semi uh, give you some alchemist fire. Yeah. You can drink some of that. Oh, we should have saved that bottle that Captain gave us. Thank God. Though hey, that would have numbed it for sure. Question. Did my mask make it in this fall, or did it? Is it gone? Yeah, it did. It did. Well, that's yeah, good. Found it. 
nice secure tie around the back. It's probably why my face hurts. A, oh. a box fell on the the walkie-talkie and turned it on. Ah. <laughs> ah. Suddenly, Jonathan just starts screaming. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks. I I'm gonna. Go. I'm going to initiate myself a buddy care check, and I'm going to uh, do an assessment of his body to see if there's anything broken. Uh, wait, first, you got to make sure the scene is safe. <laughs> Obviously, the scene is safe. We're on a boat in the middle of the ocean. All right, did you don the PPE? <laughs> oh my yes. God. I've got my gloves on. All right, okay. Proceed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to check his airway. Airway check breathing. His breathing. Circulation. Obviously, his breathing is fine. He's screaming. Yeah. He... So good capillary refill. I'm checking his fingertips or fingertips. He is fine. He's just terrified because he thinks he's still falling. I'm gonna slap him and say, "You've made it to the ground." Hey guys, where's Herschel? I need to berate him for not just letting us land in Dogart because this was terrible, <laughs> terrible idea. Uh, I'm mean, alive. Is he? I think conscious? I'm gonna pass out at this point. Could have been worse. Is Herschel, Herschel is not conscious. He's not conscious. Let's push him overboard. Does anyone have smelling salts? <laughs> I'm too tired to push his fat ass overboard. It's hard <laughs> pulling him up in here. I regret doing that now. <laughs> Do these uh, lifeboats have any sort of propulsion system on them? Do they have a sail? Uh, yeah. Is they anybody a proficient know. sailor? Uh, no, they have two oars. <laughs> two oars? Yeah. I had a feeling. Oh, uh, how did you use one of the oars? You I thought we were gonna. Professor. I thought we were gonna use the oar for my leg as a splint. Okay. Uh, yes, you did use one of the oars as a splint. Oh, you. I'll just take it off real quick and help oar or yeah, row. We're, we're gonna. We're gonna need that oar. I'm uh, using it. Your leg. Does, does anybody have uh, know the direction? Oh, is it sunset? You said. Yes. It like it was dusk. Is it a Where's red sunset? Sun, where's the sun setting? Uh, it is setting. Please just say it during cardinal direction. <laughs> to the west. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so based on where we were, uh, I'm going to put it to our back and a little bit to the right. We now then... have a five day row to the shore. Hey, uh, well, maybe not. Hold on a second. Uh, oh, I can hey, tire Eric. with you and you can just start kicking? Yeah, hey, no. Eric, you have uh, the. The tireless potion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you could just start kicking like a like a kicking. You can kick. You can I, mean, I could kick, or I could paddle. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I have. <coughs> I think the thrust being directly behind us would probably help us not go in a circle. And I mean, then it would lower on the time for you swapping the sides for the paddle. We're gonna, we're gonna uh, rudder, maybe. We're, we can take both oars. Good, yeah. Rudder, maybe. Uh, oh. One of the oars is unusable since you used it to splint up Doc. I'm just saying. I mean, we could just unsplint it. Okay. I mean, that's already, fine. kick. Well, I already, kick. I already took the, I already took the other oar off, and I'm trying to row us. <laughs> okay. Right give me, now. The, give me the potion. I give me the, the potion. I'm handing him the potion. It is. I got the oar. <laughs> Look how fast <laughs> we're going. Okay. I'm gonna pop this tireless potion. I'm so okay. good at my job. As Someone's I... gonna have to steer this boat. I cannot steer the boat. I'm tiny. <laughs> Well, with the with the single oar, all you have to do is up at the front. Just no, we have both oars now. I took it off. I'm trying to row right now. I'm on the right oh. side of the of the boat, oh, trying yeah, to yeah. row. Also, not mm. rowing very well because I'm feel like terrible. We, here, we can row. It's fine. Um, it's okay. No, it's okay. Yeah, you can row. Hey, you can uh, have I'll just lay on the ground. Ryan, mm -hmm. this potion allows me to basically not stay awake, not not get tired, and. Normally, you would travel three times faster over land. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how that equates to rowing. Okay. But it's called moon sugar. Yeah. You can <laughs> pop it up real quick. Pop it up real quick. Yeah. Oh. Moon sugar, yes. We could use some of that right now. I think we are. Oh. So that on top of I don't usually sleep yeah. anyways. Right, but you're not protected from fatigue or exhaustion. So, I mean, if you have any sort of situation that I put you into that state you would still have that happen but yeah. also yes no. 
I mean, I'm just going to row at a nice, steady pace mm. uh, through the night. Yep. Uh, so Coppertop sits at the back of the boat and starts rowing from both sides of the boat as uh, everyone else is kind of recovering from this fall. Yes. We have a sheet that we could use as a sail as well. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know about packing and whatever the other word is that you have to do. I don't. I might know a thing or two back from the army days. Most of I what I know is about murdering things and fire potions. So Jonathan, you and Sylvester start fashioning a sail with the other oar and get it stood up in the boat. Nice. Nice. We're going to call this sail. part of the boat starboard I found my syringe nice nice uh, so you start making your way towards what you think is shore paddle through the night and through the day and at this point you guys are pretty beat up by the sun um, pretty exhausted and off in the distance you finally get to where you can see land. You make your way closer and the swell starts to pick up. And as you get closer to the shore, uh, Herschel begins to wake up from all the rocking on the boat from the oh, waves. How convenient. I don't vomit. Where are we? In the middle of the fucking ocean. We're not really yeah. anymore. We were, though. Can you tell us what you did to that ship? And why? That's also a good follow-up question. Mostly why? Uh, I told you. we. we How did you time through. your sleep so well? To wake up when all the rowing was done. <laughs> you thought I was sleeping? <laughs> I think... I think we may have made it where we needed to faster if we would have just landed in Dogart and acted like you were sick. Oh, my leg. <laughs> you know what we used to do with the horses that got a broke leg back in the Shire? <laughs> I'm going to like, reach into my belt and pull out the dagger. I'm going to hold his hand back and then hand him my hand crossbow instead. No, I'm just going to pull out my... I'm going to pull out my... <laughs> I'm gonna pull up my non I'm gonna pull up my non lethal pistol and shoot myself in the chest. <laughs> yeah, that that's what we do. Doc, he was a good horse. Man. I missed myself. You missed your own <laughs> chest. Oh it hurts. Still a little still a little woozy. His aim's not that great still. Uh, we hit a wave. Doc has had too much sun. Has the hunger started in yet? Have our crewmates started looking tasty yet? Uh, you have no crewmates with you, except, well, your party mates? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, didn't we rescue, like, two of those dudes? Uh, you rescued them to the big ship. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No. So sort of. Maybe they did. Here's the real question. What was the status of my bedroll? Do I need to delete it out of my inventory? Uh, yes, you should. Sad face. That thing shredded. Bedroll. Excellent use of equipment, though. Hey, thank you. I thought it was really creative. Um, I will give you inspiration for that. Oh, heck yeah, I'll need that. <laughs> what have a disguise kit? What is that? I mean, shh, I don't have one of those. <laughs> disguise yourself from fall damage? The swell starts to pick up as you get closer to the shore, and you start to see several rocks as you get closer that are dotting, wasn't a rock. dotting the waves. It was a rock lobster. Rock lobster? <laughs> Keep it up, copper top. I think oh, we're. I think we're almost there. I feel like I can sustain this. I like, to, I like to think that we're looking off into the distance and see nothing but just blue horizon. Yes, we're, we're almost there. 
you notice that this land area uh, is very dense and jungly. Dense and jungly? Oh. Bunch of jungle. What? Wait, hold on. How exactly is the that? place we need to be? Need my map. We hit land ho. Land ho. <laughs> land ho. Oh, fuck. Oh. It's really late, bud. <laughs> I really Based wish. off of my calculations, we are nearing land. <laughs> well, we could either be hitting that Found north. It. north There's like a hundred percent chance it's raining right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look, trees. I need to watch me, girls. The swell picks up even more, and it tosses a couple of you out, and the waves start to take you towards the shore. Toss them out of the boat? Yep. Which ones of us? Yeah, which ones? <laughs> uh, all but Herschel, because he's giant, and the small ones. Oh, nice. Yay. Threw me out of the boat? I was pounding. Small ones, shocked. small ones. Hugo and yeah, I high five. Ones. We're the fucking best. I'm just going to relax. Y'all big ass and nerds. Flip. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna tirelessly man. swim to the shore. Oh, no. Oh. Shit. <laughs> How do we get there? Wait no! <laughs> I'm gonna take the paddle with me because when I went overboard, I took the paddle. Yep. I'd like to. I'd like to. Oh, we saw uh, the sail. Have a right. cute little like montage with uh, with Joe, just mm -hmm. like of us rowing together, us little tiny people rowing together to get to the shore. <laughs> and getting super <laughs> exhausted over and over. Um, do I drown with my eleven strength check with disadvantage because I'm uh, dying? Yeah, you. Do not drown. No. That's good. That's good. If but you were about to drown, I'll go give you mouth to mouth real quick. Your uh, your leg is very broken. I'm gonna crawl. Once I hit the shore, I'm gonna crawl and try and find some sticks. So you guys make it to shore. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go get him the sticks instead because the poor man and his poor leg. I have rope. We can we can rope it around my leg. Well, I can we just can make this there. work. I can just give him the paddle that I had and reattach it to his leg as a splint. Yeah, but you're not a nice kind of fellow. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm not. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm just gonna. The best just gonna... course of action is to cut it off and then to give you a peg leg. <laughs> Maybe later. I'm hang out over here. I think it's the best course of action. I'm going to crawl. Underneath this I tree. Your sticks. I got you sticks here. Oh, thank you. I'm going to tie these sticks and the and whatever's left of the paddle. I'm going to try and make a, a splint for okay. my leg. But I'm going to lay prone and try and dry out my guns. Okay. Anybody else? Copper Top, what are you doing? I'm going <clears> to <throat> just survey a little bit north, a little bit south, and see if I can see any, um, uh, like, traveling paths, whether it be game paths or uh, maybe like trade routes or any sign of civilization. Okay. Turns out you only find game cubes, no game paths. <gasps> I mean, that's great. Super monkey ball. Let's do it. <laughs> God, I that guy. Say they're decently tied on. I, I, yes. I, never, I never played super monkey ball. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> phenomenal. <laughs> Um, with my army training, can I uh, go get some rocks and some sticks mm -hmm. and uh, make a f make a little fire? Absolutely. Yay! I'm gonna take my clothes off and dry those off. <laughs> I hate being wet. I'm gonna get an instant boner from the nudity. I mean, not all the clothes, mostly. No one's gonna notice though, cause it's tiny, just like me. <clears throat> Sad face. You can survey Parker if you want. <laughs> over my shoulder. I will glance and over. Wink. So you start walking through the area, and as you get to about here, you hear a noise in the distance from that direction. From what direction? Oh, do, you, do you see the map? I see the map now. Okay. I had I had the Mamagal map up ah. over my. Over my uh, fancy grounds. Okay. What is this giant moose thing? <laughs> what moose thing? I don't see a moose thing. What are you talking it's about? It's fucking huge. What is this thing? 
What moose thing? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm over here with uh, Doc. Could you please fill us in? Guys, there's a giant prehistoric moose. <laughs> oh, there's a prehistoric right. moose. It's uh, it's a dinos it's a dino moose. Did we go back in time? It, did did you, the spinning of the ship create can, a wormhole in which I, we were teleported to the dinosaur era? Not the can only I, hole it created. Hey, can I see this thing? <laughs> yeah. Setting? Oh yeah, absolutely can. Okay, how big is it? I mean, it looks massive. It is very large. That's what she uh, said. So, what does it look like as a whole? I see its head, and it clearly looks like some sort of dino moose without the horns. Like a dino moose girl. Mm. I'm going to have to come over here to see this thing. It, it looks just like the dinosaur from Dinosaur. It looks like an ankylosaurus. Like, an legitimately... Okay. It looks um, like he took the image from Dinosaur. Massive ankylosaurus. What's it doing? Right now it is just eating grass. It hasn't seen you yet. Have Can I... Can we do a uh, check and, and you see just, if... You freeze are they, as you are see they it. Strictly I'm gonna herbivores? Right <laughs> yeah, ankylosaurus are strictly Help herbivores. me flip this boat over! Okay. Uh, have I ever I even boat. heard of something like this existing? You have not. Hmm. Hmm. That's because you don't have ears. Uh. I'm gonna. So it's just grazing. It doesn't have. It's not wearing anything. Or it. Nothing to show. Do you want to take the clothes off this thing? Well, I'm. I'm just wondering if if it looks just like a a regular wild animal. Sure, sure, sure. Is Creepy. there anything that would exactly. indicate anything else? Uh, no. So suddenly you hear the boat slam to the ground behind you and it is flipped over. And both Jonathan and Kylan have both disappeared. As the boat slams to the ground, it makes a noise and the Ankylosaurus lifts its head and sees you. This is the uh, worst I'm gonna, thing. I'm going to lift my hand and say, whoa there. Just like I would a horse. I'm gonna do that really nice. It's okay. It's okay. We're friends. You should do the little whistles and then. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up some leaves and dangle it at him like I want to feed and him. With <laughs> please, llama. With both hands up, I'm gonna take. <laughs> I'm gonna take one step closer. Okay, so you take your step closer, and you see anger start building in its eyes. Oh, now I'm gonna I'm gonna leave my hands up. And then back one more <laughs> step. <laughs> what is its tail doing? It is swaying back and forth. It's so we got... can see the giant club on the end of the tail? Yes. Okay. yes. It's starting to paw at the ground <laughs> and uh, give heavy breaths through its nose. Like it's huffing at you. Sorry. Okay, um, uh, no. at this moment, we're not in combat quite yet, right? No. I'm going to infuse one of my alchemist fires with brimstone infusion real quick, just to have that ready. Okay. If I go grab a stick from the fire, is it afraid of the fire if I bring it closer? <laughs> Seems like the worst idea. No, 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 just grab it. You just, you just grab, you don't like walk super close, but just grab a stick and then just walk like, you know, just like right here or right here. No, just, no, don't, don't grab a stick. Just a, just a flamey fire. Um, I'm gonna. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can I uh, crouch down a little lower and just kind of sit in front of the boat? <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. Uh, well, Doc ran off from me, so I'm going to go ahead and go uh, hug my buddy Hugo here. Uh, you also hear huffing in this... Oh, wait, 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 wait. This general do direction hear... as well. Do we hear any sound. puffing? Uh, how how thick are the uh, trunks of the vegetation to that in that area? Like, mm. does it look like one of these ankylosauruses could bust through it? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going to... I'm going to set my staff down on top of my foot and just in a nice calm voice <laughs> on top of my foot though yeah not on the ground 
Nice convoys. We mean you no harm. We, uh, we just landed on the shoreline. We're just looking for a civilization. Are these things moving? <laughs> yep. Yep. Sight. yep. Yep. <laughs> moving closer. Copper top, this doesn't look happy. I don't think it's going to end well for us. Gentle touches. That's why I tell my kids about the dogs. <laughs> don't hold his ears. Uh, is he walking towards us uh, tail first or head first? Or uh, cutting corner. Sideways, oh. somewhat at an angle. He's got a little baby. Head first. No. Those are different. Guys. Little babies. <laughs> uh, does he does he still look mad? Uh, yes. Uh, I I'm gonna I'm gonna reach over and break off some of. Can I sell what he was eating on? Um, just plant material. I, I'm yeah. gonna reach over and grab one of these leaves and throw it towards him. You know, build up a little pile of leaves and walk away from the pile. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Build up that pile of leaf, and then I'm gonna back up one square. <laughs> you go, little buddy. You, you go. You you go on and eat. You eat the leaves now. Leave us alone. Dragon my staff are me. massive. They are fucking huge. They are really huge. I didn't realize how big they were, like, because I've only seen like the drawings of them, and I'm looking at that scale they have. Hey, Holy uh, shit! What, what are these little ones over here that? Deanna Cryus ones look like. Oh, uh, they're so cute! Why do they have advantage? Are they the spitting ones? No, they oh, look like the sure. the star. Uh, they're the uh, feathered velociraptors. Yeah. Are oh. they really? Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. This is over. I Wait, where are, you, where are y'all seeing all these things? On the map? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're you're too far away. You're you're in the brush. It's gonna be blocking. Yeah, he's your in the brush. Night. Oh, yeah, I crawled away hiding. I'm uh, gonna, like, whisper to Doc to be like, stay still. Oh, gosh. <laughs> do I see it come over? Uh, you do see it. Yes. I guess because it's in my line of sight does, now. Does anybody oh, else no. have any recollection of ever seeing, coming in contact with these kinds of creatures? I'm gonna check to see if it, any, if I have, but I probably wouldn't have because I lived in a fucking city my whole life. <laughs> <clears throat> Same here, but I can see if I've ever read anything about it. I've traveled quite a bit. Uh, I don't know if uh, Uguay. <laughs> what a what a nerd reading. God, what a nerd. Me too. Ryan, I am uh, preparing my rifle and aiming it straight at it and laying prone on the ground. Stiego, we're both nerds. I'm gonna high five him again. Oh fucking nerds! High five. <laughs> Nerd five. Here we go. <laughs> the biggest of nerds. We're the best. Uh, so you see the Ankylosaurus, notice the uh, Dionychus behind it, and it immediately turns and faces the Dionychuses. Oh, we got a friend! Keep them away from your trees. We could defend it and make friends with it. Yeah, if we help it fuck up these little feathered raptors. Let's do yeah. it. Let's help it. Let's Call fucking up. do it. <laughs> Team up, and then we have pet dinosaur that, if it comes down to it, we could kill in its sleep and eat for food. Well, it's definitely big enough to transport us, so we could just use that a giant mount. Uh, for those that made the history check, uh, uh, you are not familiar with these creatures living, think so. living currently. <laughs> However, uh, you do know that there has been skeletons found of things that could look like this. Oh, so it's the land before time. Good to know. Archaeologists. Are we, are we in Argandia? I don't have peanut butter left. Do you want more peanut butter? I read all about the archaeologies. <laughs> oh, hot dang. I'm going to move up to see what this guy sees. Oh, oh, careful! You're uh, hurt. Oh, crispy. His eyes are looking at the other Dinocuses. Yeah, I crawled over there, and now I see what it's looking at. At least one of them. Mm -hmm. Are they? Are they closing it? Does it look like they're closing it on him or us? <laughs> uh, uh, right now, they're closing on him. Okay. But uh, this group has noticed you. Hey. Down here. Uh, 
quick hands, can you swing around this outside to see what the other noises were? Oh, sure. Like, his, uh, like sneaky like. His voice is very muffled and coming from underneath the boat. I'm going to start digging into the sand. <laughs> like, make myself a little gap. <laughs> You see hands start to dig underneath the boat uh, as you're looking onto it. This is me trying to bury myself in leaves. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jonathan, oh, you make your way. You Which poke your side? head out. Which side is south? Uh, side is south? That's where you said to go look, right? You said south side. Uh, the northeast. So, but go around the east side of these uh, this vegetation. Good lord, son! Quit using cardinal directions. And point. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna point to the right and a little bit up. Okay. <laughs> From my current position, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. Continue to stay partially submerged in the sand and like. <laughs> I have to push myself through. Can you take for fucking ever? Like an arm. Very slowly. <laughs> like a mole. Digging his way through. Like a little hot kind of... I can maintain stealth. <laughs> Very slowly. Baller ass stealth. Let me ping. Kill up. And a big one. Okay, now that I'm outside of what seems to be a vision line, I'm going to stand up out okay. of the sand. Uh, you guys saw this, like, feather poking up out of the grasses as he's crawling his way over there. <laughs> We're ridiculous. It'll be fine. It's like Jaws, but with a feather. <clears throat> How successful was Doc at being stealth? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Pretty successful. Pretty successful, yeah. So I don't see him? Oh, shoot. Are you guys uh, looking at James I'm prone see one of them, yeah. Oh, dear God. <laughs> What's and, over there? Yeah. Oh. I'm going to come back toward the squad. He's <laughs> got a family. Guys, don't I've... worry. There, there's more over there, too. How many more? Well, I saw one, and then I shit myself. <laughs> oh, God, there's three. <laughs> nice. I've rearranged my rifle, smell. and I'm nice. aiming at one of the creepy feather-looking things that looks vicious. Okay. Because Big Boy's got his back to me. Okay. Correct? This way this time. Yeah, there's uh, three down there in the bottom left. Ryan, the, big, the ankylosaurus has his back to me, right? Oh, he got closer. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, I am going to ready an action. Can I do that yet? Oh, yeah. Uh, as soon as <laughs> I see one of these move in on the Ankylosaurus. Copper. What? Maybe we should attack the little ones to get on the side of the big ones. They don't that's seem like I'm, each other. That is 100% what I'm thinking. Yep. Okay. I, let's say, Good uh, I'm going to grab... A, a torch from my fire and my longsword and start walking towards the Ankylosaurus to like side by side and give him like the old we got this look. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> okay. So you walk up to it <laughs> and it sees you behind it and it immediately uh, <clears throat> swings at you. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, I don't think it? it's a. I don't think it's a. Hey, uh, hey, hey! Its tail swings, and you dive underneath it, and dive into the brush. I'm on it's your like a side. horse. You don't walk up behind it; you'll spook it. I'm on uh, your side, man. And that is initiative. Uh, Austin, you were actually first. <laughs> Yay! You gotta move again. <laughs> uh, I'm going oh, to. I got the bottom. I'm going to enter stealth. And wait for the first thing to attack. Okay, go ahead. And now. as soon as it attacks, I'll spring on him. Go ahead and roll stealth. Okay. 
foot circle, orange circle. Fuck. Okay. Am I stealthy? Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody sees you. <laughs> Uh, it's going to swing at you again. It Miss. knows there's meat eaters surrounding it, right? And once more for good measure. Yeah, but Austin had fire. It doesn't oh, know what fire point. is, really. Uh, probably I'm not sure what fire is. Copper top. <laughs> what is that stick that you hold? <laughs> <laughs> Cop top. Oh, I need to put. Oh. Uh, I am going. Where is to combat tracker? To sprint. Uh, straight up behind. I'm gonna jump on this ankylosaurus's back <laughs> into a front vault to right here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Ending in a, a, smash, like a smash down with my staff. Okay. Are there two ankylosaurus? There are now, yes. <laughs> oh, because I don't even see you or the one you're at. Uh, do you need, a, do you need an, an acrobatics check for that? <laughs> mm, yes, please. <laughs> you're going to get me killed. Was it 12? Uh, that, was, uh, <laughs> that was not the right dice, I don't think. Oh. Oh, was it? Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Was, yeah. Was, oh, yeah, D20. Okay. Okay, 12. <laughs> I just rolled real low. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, you managed to make make it. Well, oh, yes! <laughs> yes! Wow. Uh, in that case, one. down comes the quarterstaff on top of this little fucker. Oh, that will hit. Uh, and then my follow-up unarmed. Okay, I will miss. Okay, and then how many... One, two, three, <coughs> six. Uh, and then I'm going to dart back. To here. I just saw the other Ankylosaurus just go whoop past my line of sight. <laughs> oh, buddy. Okay. Uh, you see this Ankylosaurus smash this uh, Dinocus. Oh. Uh, with its tail, and it goes flying through the air. Jesus! And it, it is it is prone. Air. With the greatest of ease. A daring a man on a flying trapeze. Uh, Alec, this Dionachus comes up to you. Mm -hmm. There's some over there? Oh my gosh. Heinlein has a better initiative than me. Holy shit. Uh, it's going to uh, bite. It'll hit. Four, six damage, and then it's going to claw at you. And crit fail. And fall over and fall prone as well. They have very uh, weak footing, like got tiny feet. I know how that feels. <laughs> <laughs> have weak footing right now. This one is going to get up and try to circle back. Oh. Oh, crit on the bike. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hurt already oh. hurt. Shit. He hit turtle flesh. Mm. That rolled on the wrong one. There we go. Uh oh. Uh, Ooh. Oh no. 13, and it'll claw as well. Jesus, these things are strong. And miss. And Herschel's no, return. 
I think they're basically okay. wolves. <laughs> Would like to ask if you could put the prone uh, s status on the other one. Or what? Uh, the one that fell over prone after it yeah, tried it, to claw me and it tripped is. over it's, itself. It's uh, three. I'm just going to keep these farther away so it's easier to click. Okay. I'll put you there. Um, It'll work. Would like to uh, punch three. Yeah, punch him. Punch the okay. fucking shit out of him with your thunder claws. I'm just going to root on everybody here. I can't do anything else. Thunder gauntlets. That will hit. Okay, nice. Okay, and we're just gonna hit him again. Okay. Just punching the shit out of him. I like how this is a uh, jungle hit. beach underscore map dot jpeg. That's Mightworks Art Pack 2019. <laughs> Jungle Beach. <laughs> it's like a regular beach, but, but in the jungle. jungle. <laughs> okay, Jonathan. I'm going to climb up this tree. <laughs> oh, I... way to use your good quick hands there. Perfect idea. And then take you... some rocks to save the friends. Brian, I do not like that I can't see my own teammates as well. Mm -hmm. That bothers me. Yeah, I'm sure it does. So but that's how real lot of sight works, though. <laughs> it's true, but I feel like I should instinctively know where my right teammates here. are. Okay. You, you know like, the general yeah, area that the we tree. were at when you left? Yeah, but I'm assuming you've all moved. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I haven't had my turn yet. Has Lost it been me. a full 24 hours since I ingested this potion? Yes. Did I make it up the tree? Yeah, you made it up the tree. Okay, okay, okay. You and don't ingest one. that one. Uh, <clears throat> this is suppository. You have some <laughs> stones? Give <laughs> them now. Why does that make me happy? <laughs> Where is my actions tab? There it is. And then I'm going to sling it. That mm. one will miss. That's all I got. Yeah. Uh, ranged attack is disadvantage for prone. Oh, I didn't realize it was prone. My fault. Yeah. Four. If you want to shoot at a different one, because you didn't know. Yeah. I was, you can. Yeah. Sorry. Stop. How do I make? How do I make myself prone? Thanks. I'm technically prone. That well, hit. There you go. Did, did that, I guess it hits, but yep. like I do have advantage because hidden, right? Oh yeah, that too. <clears throat> and then do these. And then 2d6 for stealth. How do I how do I do that? Just roll your 2d6 and I'll I'll add. Okay. Oh, double these. If you right click, right click it. Yeah, I don't want them. Yeah. It's been Ooh, that long. Shit. Whoop, whoop. Nice. Get smoked. Free smoke. Free smoke. All right. Very nice, Hugo. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm on the button. Say good luck, buddy. How? You're taking a long time, buddy. I'm gonna slap him on the butt again. Good luck, buddy. So, next. okay, hold on. How far is? Can I draw a pointer? Yes. How far is this? Uh, how do I see the? Uh, Forty-five feet. The tracker. Uh, it's top right-hand corner. It's crossing. Well, crossing. I uh, I closed the map. Can I get it again? <laughs> wow, God. golly! I'm fucking sorry. <laughs> Got it. Uh, okay, so I'm going to throw a bomb. What is the best way? I'm going to throw it over here. Over here. And it's anything within five feet. If it hits, it will take 3d6 plus two fire damage. Okay, so go ahead and roll the hit on... Either one of them. Actually, uh, yeah, just either one. Okay. That'll hit. And then roll your damage uh, on both. Does it have, like, a clockwork, like, uh, fucking spindle in the back that you wind up? Yeah. 
fucking Patty Mahomes over here. <laughs> I can throw that fucker 60 feet. <laughs> Given your size, that is actually very startling. You good, Chris? All right. Can I hit Dion number four without hitting Ankle Boy number one? Um, if you move. Hmm. I <laughs> will. Like, nah, not worth it. Can I still see here? Can I technically still see him there? I think I can. I mean, he's still on my screen. Yeah, if he's on your screen... You... I can still see him. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to... Because I am prone, I'm going to stealthily try and shuffle over um, to the side a little bit. And then I will fire at him. Does he? Am I noticed? And would I get advantage on that? Uh, you're not noticed. Stealth? No. Okay, dokie. You would. Yes. Musket boy on Dion number four. You're wow, good musket? thing too. Yeah, there yeah, I did. I've had okay, it prepared no. for a while now. Wow, drop the one thing. I know. Big. Very nice. Yeah, nice. <gasps> Big hits, man. That musk is pretty powerful. All right, that's what I did. Okay. What did you do for summer vacation? <laughs> I shot a musket at a dinosaur. <laughs> <clears throat> There's another ankylosaur. Where this one come from? We got friends. Why are there two ankylosaur twos? I don't know, but somehow I've duplicated myself on okay. the map. There's only one. Oh, I see two. Uh, one okay. in the original spot. I have two of me on the map, too. <laughs> yeah, I see uh, two ankylosaur twos. Because he, uh... Whenever you, like, open the second map... Uh... Hmm. It, uh... Creates copies. Uh, something. okay. Oh, gosh. I shouldn't have done what I did. Same. Okay, I'll I did a bad thing. Too. <laughs> but it's too you, late. What'd you do? Oh damn! Uh, that's a lot of that's a lot of dice you rolled Jesus there. Jesus Christ! Uh, well, so they're not very friendly still, apparently. Why'd the ankylosaur attack me? I'm attacking the people who. Uh, Chris, uh, is your screen also completely black? Yeah. Yeah. Open your eyes. Good, because mine is as well. Oh, it's oh, gone. I just went away. No, he's back. Uh, uh, good. Is it better? Yeah. Yeah. Fixed. Alex. Uh, Fixed. No. But... And still completely black. Uh, Alex off the map completely. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's why. Yeah, I would imagine that's probably why. And Chris is not up there either. Oh yeah, he disappeared. We deleted our tokens because there were two of us, and I guess we deleted the wrong one. Oh. Got it. I'm okay. glad I wasn't the only one who tried to do it. I just didn't. Okay. <laughs> you should be back. Okay. Yeah, I see everything now. Okay, so this think... ankylosaurus makes a big swing of its tail. Um, hits Parker, uh, who goes prone, goes flying, and also hits the Dianakis, who dies, and is flung. Hit <laughs> that motherfucker so hard he died. <laughs> Thirty feet, and I'm still alive. Thirty feet in the distance. Oh, <laughs> it hurts so bad. Uh, this Dianakis is just gonna start running. Oh, that's smart. Okay, Kylan is not going to do anything. Eric. It's my turn. I'm going to tell uh, Higo, check out this new gadget. And I'm going to run past him real quick. I'm going to slap then, him on the butt and say, you go get him, buddy. I'm going chuck, to chuck my new gadget, which looks like, uh, like, you know, the little smoke bombs you get for 4th of July? Like those. Uh -huh. There's three of them. And I go right into the fire. Um, and as they pass through this campfire, the campfire just basically dissipates and is consumed into the three of them. Oh, and they speed up gnarly. into fire. That is some gnarly shit. Balls! Nice. Hold up. Do I have to make a save? 
Yeah, they have to make a save, dexterity saving throw. They're not. That's not listed here. Um, it might be halved if he makes a dexterity th saving throw. Okay, what is it? Uh, it would be. What is mine? I'm trying to find a one of mine that has one listed because I don't have it memorized. Fourteen. Uh, he does make it. Uh, so he takes eight. Yep. Why don't they have that one on this? I need to add this to the spell, apparently. Uh, oh, it's from that new package you had. That's probably why it's mm. not added. Yep. So that would be the damage on him, and then the damage on him, and you can have it if it if they make the fourteen. Uh, he does. He does make it on one. Uh, I'm gonna fuck. add that real quick here. Uh, he actually dies anyway. And then the last one. So it should be 16 on the far back, 114 on the... That one fails it, so he'd take what? the full... Okay. So they both die anyways. Okay. Yeah. And then that campfire is no longer there. Because it requires the fire to make it happen. That's a pretty cool spell. It is very neat, and then I rebuilt my whole spell list so, so I can make <coughs> fires. <laughs> okay, awesome. <coughs> <coughs> Um, I'm playing a game, seeing how many games I can get on my three, team. Four, <laughs> five. So far, I'm at three. Can I stealth over here on my way to go pick up Copper Top? Yeah, if you Yay. roll. Yay! Yep. yep. Fucking missed that too. Stealthy, stealth, stealth. Where do you. There it is. Add. Action. Okay. That'll work. Yay! I'm on my way, Copper Top. I'll save you. Is that not how it goes? I'm very confused about what happened. Okay, right. You got so thrown. You got you got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> save. save. You should see that other Doclamodipasaurus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Eric, the Dianakis crits with the bite. Ow! Jesus. Bitch boy. It's a dex, it's a dex, it's a dex, it's a dex, it's a dex. Ah, missed it, missed it, missed it. Ow, Jesus Christ. And Holy you shit. Claw at you. Oh, you bitch boy. <laughs> it also hit. An 11 hits you? Yeah, I'm tiny and I don't have any armor on. And I'm dead. Eh, not quite. I have one hit boy. little buddy. Okay, cup top, you're up. Uh, I am still prone. Yes. Correct? Yes. Uh, it's half my movement speed to get up. Is that what it is? Yep. Well, then I'm gonna get up, and uh, I'm gonna go. How thick is this brush up here? It's my just north and west of pretty thick. Dummy. I'm gonna. I'll say thirty of my movement speed is gone. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go in death? here, right here. Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh, you didn't need me to save you. I was able to get up, even with half my movement speed, I can still move 25 feet. Chris, but you see this Dianakis fly past you. Oh Third my day. gosh. <laughs> and I hits a tree and just slumps over in a heap. Oh, that's one left I had to shoot. Okay, Herschel. Uh, you know, I guess I'm moving towards uh, Dianakis too, seeing that there's none still to my uh, left or I guess in front of me at this point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just gonna pound it. Just pound it. Pound just saying. Grab it and pound it. Why is it that none of That's such a cool like no, item it... name though. So simple. 
but thunder gauntlets? It's fucking dope. <laughs> Don't fucking laugh at me. Nice. Why shouldn't I? I don't know. Okay. Well, there you have it. I'm gonna laugh at you. That'll hit. <laughs> Okay. Jonathan. There's rocks at the thing. Oh, oh. We'll save you, little buddy. <clears throat> bingo, bingo. That'll hit. <coughs> nice. Kill shot. <coughs> Just chuck the rock at the guy. Get smoked. And then that's it for me. Okay, Holy shit! Your screen is so small. <laughs> he does play on a very small screen. Second slot. I used up one of those. You take it off my list. Oh, that's what I did. Hugo, it's you! Uh, let's see here. Do something! I can move. One, two, yeah, I can see three. Else oh, is. fuck. Uh, <laughs> four. This is a bad idea. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to retcon that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go this way, if that's cool. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Have these ankles horses been hit five. by anything yet? Mm -mm. I haven't hit them at all. We've been we got swarmed. What do you want from us? No, they I haven't. thought I thought they Eric's almost dead. <laughs> they don't need our help. I mean, I'm uh, almost from one. If I of can them. see it on my screen, can I shoot it? Yes. Sweet. Okay. Uh, I will shoot. <coughs> Wait, don't don't, don't don't shoot big the boy. No. Ankylosaurus two. We're trying to make friends. Okay. It's gonna fucking murder you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Almost yeah, murder, don't, Parker. Don't shoot the Ankylosaurus until all the Dianocuses are dead. Okay, well, I can't do anything then. I will stand well, right here. I mean, you can it, you move and shoot? Uh, they're all dead. If, I already moved. They're all dead. Oh, all the Dianocuses are dead? Yep. I say oh. do what you were gonna do. Oh, I, could, I don't see anymore, but... Someone was able to communicate that in their turn. I say do what you're gonna do. Oh, yeah. What about this Dianonchus 4 up here in the north? That'll hit. That dude is running. Oh, he gonna be gone. He got, he, he's so gone. He gonna scoop. He's faster than you because you've lost your uh, support from the uh, suppository. <laughs> <Justin>. <laughs> you go. It is not my turn anymore. Okay, that'll hit. Why are you repeating uh, everything that happened? <laughs> Recap. Okay, <laughs> quick recap. Doc, save us. As well, last we left I only have 15 feet of movement because I'm crawling <laughs> everywhere. Stop doing that. You have a splint now, Doc. No I don't think it helps. Do Over there. This is where I crawled to. Why are we doing this? <laughs> and now I'm done. Okay. Oh, you can... <gasps> You can like change the. Oh, that's cool. You've angered it. Oh no, he's gonna smash Hugo into the dirt. Dude, I'm fucking. I'm into it. Hugo's gonna die. Oh no. <laughs> what is my AC? It's gotta be low. Gone. It's ten. It's ten. Okay. I wear nerd clothes and I just throw potions at people. So I mean. Uh, you failed to save. Oh, that's too bad. It's. <laughs> Fuck. How do you have so many more hit points than me? Holy shit. He hits you and you fly back and slide in the sand up against the boat. That's that's what I like. That, I wanted to be back here anyways with my friends. Aww. I wish you could see from my screen right now. I don't see anybody <laughs> or anything. He's just over there like, everything is sad and dying. I just hear a bunch of scary noises everywhere. <laughs> You just hear. You see you Kylan just... poke her head out from underneath the boat and kind of wave her hands a little bit. And you see a rock appear in front of you. 
What? Yeah. What kind of rock is it? Joe? What kind of rock is it? It's a fake rock. Fake rock? Like, like, is it like molten rock or just like regular cold rock? Like cold rock. Cold rock. Okay. All right. Like it's important rock. for half of my spells. <laughs> but also, I'm not going to use uh, it. Kylan could create an illusion of one of those little raptors, mm -hmm. but like 10 times bigger. I don't know. I am going to slap a healer's kit on my leg, just, you know, juice myself up. And then I'm going to be like, uh, Herschel, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to back down a little bit here. <laughs> and I'm just going to go a one, two, three, four, five, six over to Jonathan ish area. Cause I know he's up in the tree. <laughs> and, uh, that, that's all I can do. That's okay. it. All right. Sylvester. Um, how was he perfectly fine? I'm in a fucking pickle. <coughs> How? How are you in a pickle? Everyone else over here is dying. Yeah, you let him as, get to the back line. As yeah. I recall. Well, I didn't shoot at it and make it draw to its attention. <laughs> yeah, but hey, nobody stopped look. him from killing the back line and our 80 carries dying right now, okay? We need the bruiser. I'm not a bruiser. I'm a fucking thief. Yeah, I'm say he's a uh -huh. I'm oh, rogue. is he really? You're a rogue. Yeah. Wrong campaign. Yeah. Um. I'm. Can I stealth jump on top of the Ankylosaurus, throw my the rope I have around it in my burglar's pack, and try to ride it and wrangle it? Uh, definitely. Yes. Yes. Oh my god! I can't wait for him to tame this fucking thing. Uh, acrobatics <laughs> check, please. Break it in. Uh, let's see here. Okay. <laughs> Acrobatics. Yeah, they they have a pretty broad back, and uh, there's really no way for them to get to you if you're on their back. Thus, okay. so you make it on top of it. Roll animal handling next. Uh, no. Mm. Holy shit! Okay. Uh, so you, you swing the rope around and you start sawing at the reins, pulling its neck back. Uh, and it starts slowly backing up with you on top of it. I don't understand. That's it. That's it. Good boy. Good boy. That's it. Easy now. Easy now. Copper top. Uh, I'm going to try and... Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to try and stealth over to behind this Ankylosaurus. I'm just rolling all fives today. Okay. Three, four. I'm assuming this is like hard terrain, so I'm going to use yeah. that two. Yep. Uh, two. Okay. To right there. Okay. So he saw me? Oh, yeah. He definitely saw you. <laughs> 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 I want to make a I want to make a dodgy motion. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm dead. Oh, yep. I just exploded into fucking well, did you attack it? And metal. No. Well, did you You can use the dodge. I don't I don't have a dodge or defense. What? What is your about? action? <clears throat> Which gives you advantage on a uh, defense rolls. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, can I say, use dodge as my action? <laughs> yeah. I'll roll again. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. Dodge is my action. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me unfrone you so I have a normal roll. Uh, still, nope, still crushed. Still hits. <laughs> still, still turned into splinters. Good attempt, though. Good attempt. Okay. I don't think a healing potion will turn you back into a whole piece of wood. <laughs> Herschel. Yeah. Wait. Herschel? Yes. 
Uh, is Kylan still outside of the boat? She like poked her head out. That was really it. But she's underneath. Yeah. Hmm. I can't believe Chris doesn't see anything. <laughs> I I can't see anything either. I am going to move in front of the fake rock. Um. Wait, actually, did we? I saw Austin like pulling it back. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um. And the other one started running off. In which direction? It's running away, though? Yes. Um, That's for something later. <laughs> did I hear uh, metal and wood snapping? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> can I go-go gadget boots in that direction? Mm hmm Okay. doing this math right. Um. Okay. Um. Would like to get to, I guess, here and then dash to get to what I'm assuming is a crumpled up version of Copper Top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, splinters. And I will prepare uh, to start working on him. Okay. Jonathan. Okay, I'm gonna cut down uh, you know like at the top of the palm trees where they're all like connected? Mm -hmm. It has like a shoot of palms. I'm gonna chop that piece off with my dagger mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then I'm going to slide down the tree and I'm going to come and I'm going <laughs> to post up next to Doc okay. with Whoa! Where'd you come from? And I'm going to use this as, you know, cover for him. Okay. Here you go. Still prone. Well, uh, so... Sylvester, are you fighting it, or is it fighting you? Right. We're, we're, we're getting acquainted with each other. Oh, okay. All right. So don't shoot it. Got it. No. <laughs> shoot. I have please. to take one arrow out of it. Please. Shoot. Uh, I'm gonna. I saw. I saw old Jonathan kind of sneak off this direction, so I'm gonna start moving this way. Okay. One, two, three, four. <gasps> Uh, see more people. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's all, running this all way. All the little people are coming over here. Doc. Okay, so earlier I rolled a 23 on perception. Mm -hmm. I was using it based off of hearing, because at the time I couldn't see anything. So, was I... My question is, did I hear more stuff to the right of where I am, or to the <coughs> left of where I am? You heard a big crash from this direction. Okay. And then lots of, uh, like, walking noises. And yeah, as I saw, kind of saw them yep. come up. Okay. 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 Let's see. Oh, gosh. All I had to do was scamper up to there. So I crawled to there. Um, what is Anchorosaurus 1 doing? Uh, running. Oh, uh, so it's, you, it's... You also hear some sounds from that direction. <coughs> of Sylvester okay. screaming bloody murder and a pissed off ankylosaurus. Okay, I have two more squares to move. Okay. <laughs> I don't see much more, but that's about where I got to. And I was grabbing onto the palm branches that were on top of me to try and stay stealthy. Okay. See if it worked. 
I feel pretty stealthy. Fucking god. Okay, Austin. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm. Uh, y'all, I need your help. Get your ropes. Come tie this damn thing down. (coughs) You managed uh, to get the Ankylosaurus under control. Yes, I have. That's right. That's good. Good Ankylosaurus. Your name. What? What? You know what? We'll have. We'll vote on names with the group. Group pet. And that is the end of combat. <laughs> I'm going to uh, physically move over to Copper Talk. Copper. Copper. Co- that, copper Cock. Copper Cock. Copper Cock. Copper Cock. That's what the ladies call it. Oh, no. And I'm, I'm going to take um, his, his Copper Cock cock into my copper mouth. I wasn't their first choice, and I wasn't their second choice, but I was definitely their third choice. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to, like. Uh, apparently bandages work for uh, gears, oil, and wood, so... Um, I would like to actually know what type of creature Copper Top is considered. Construct? I'm my own thing. (laughs) Are you considered a construct? Hi, <laughs> puppy! In the same realm as David S. Pumpkins. <laughs> Wait, he has a middle initial now? I'm so on the fence about David S. Pumpkins. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man. I keep getting beers out of the fridge and they keep disappearing. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you have a thief. Yeah, I know. Um, uh, you gotta drink that 48 pack of construct? fucking... Uh, uh, does it matter if he's a construct? Oh, no. uh, technically, yes. Is it good or bad? Uh, well, it's just that it... I mean, I guess it doesn't technically matter because I have ways of fixing both. But... Yeah, you can fix him. How about that? Okay. I thought he was. Well, damn it! I want to get my bandage back. Yeah, that's fine. You can assist Herschel in fixing him. You the reason why I'm asking is because spare the dying does not work on undead or constructs. Ah. Uh, but mending what? does. Huh. What's it called? I thought he was. I thought he was able to be healed and stuff. <clears throat> yeah, he's able to be healed. I mean, my thing is specifically a heal, but yeah. Well, yeah, no, I mean, that's what I was. It said specifically that this spell has no effect on undead or constructs. Uh huh. But uh-huh. mending says that this spell can physically repair a magic item or a construct. Hmm. Man, that seems broken. You could basically just heal him. Yeah, for free. That's like all the way, right? Like I mean, yeah. that's like zero to sixty, like the full thing. Let's see. But it's only like yeah, like up to a certain extent, right? Like you couldn't mend a boat, but you could like mend a flat. Yeah, but yeah. Copper Top, or I'm sorry, Copper Cock is. Uh, you know. As long as the breaker tear is no larger than one foot in any direction. Right. Uh, okay, mm. all right. So, okay. Uh, but it does leave no trace of the former damage. 10 hit points. I ruled on the GM. I'm God now. Hey, I'm in charge of the Ankylosaurus now. Um, however, I would like to. It, it, it's a casting time of a minute, but I think also. Would it not allow me to just do it, like, every minute? <laughs> and that's why, like, I think he's treated as, like, a normal human. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. normal. Let's go with that. Okay. Treat him like a human, even though he's made out of wood, gears, and oil. And also, his cock is copper. It's <laughs> copper cock! Gold for you, baby. <laughs> I'm going to polish it till it looks like gold. Oh. Okay, so he has a little bit of health back. Okay, looks like everybody's back. I think, yes, yes. Okay. And we have an Ankylosaurus now, a tamed Ankylosaurus. His name is Arnie, and he's our new friend. Arnie? Why'd you pick Arnie? Fucking mascot. Barney. Because I I timed him. Well, that's entertaining as as fuck. It's ten thirty, and I'm gonna go to bed. We should eat him. I'm hungry. No, so, Jonathan. 
Don't touch I, Arnie. <clears throat> you have I would like to point out Dianonicus that, that you could eat. I would like oh, to yeah, point out true. that the Braves beat the Marlins twenty nine to nine tonight. That what? What's that? What's that? Yeah, I don't know what that mean. What does that mean? What sport is that? Baseball. baseball. Okay, baseball. Uh, twenty nine is pretty high for baseball. Sport that <laughs> is really high for baseball. I think. They scored 11, <laughs> 11 runs in the the second inning. Jesus. That's actually one run Christ. shy of the modern day record. That's what happens whenever I play freaking NCAA baseball two thousand four on easy. <laughs> Specifically two thousand four. Is that a flex or? <laughs> it's a diss. Is really it's what it is. On okay, myself well, and the other team. Well, I'm uh I'm gonna go to bed now, guys. Right. It's it's late night times, and then there's work tomorrow, so. Goodbye, potion seller. Good night, buddy. Good luck. Uh, Good I'm out too. I'll catch okay. y'all later. See ya. Bye. Bye. It's okay. The Brewers beat the Tigers 19 to zero. Jesus Jesus fucking Christ. Is that the same sport? And it is the same sport. Yes. Speaking of brewers, my brother filled out a health insurance form today, and as his occupation, he put brewer, which is kind of cool. That's pretty cool. So, before we end, any thoughts of what's going on? Yeah, I'm still hiding in a bush because I don't know what's going on. (laughs) I don't know where the... This is what I think happened. Even though, pretty sure I put the sun to the... The, uh, the opposite direction of where I was going because I'm setting in the west. I don't you think we're on the, the same... Dune. I don't think we're on the Mock Dune continent anymore. Otherwise, we would have heard of these motherfuckers. Oh, because our engine stalled us in one direction? I think we went to Zamug or Argandia. Oh, does this land look familiar to me? Mm, no. <clears throat> and I think you've been to both of those. We're in the deep dark again. And I don't see... There's no, like, island or anything out in the middle of the ocean on that pass. And we weren't to Dogar yet, according to the captain. So... I have Unless no somehow we ended up... God only knows where. Like, on another continent. Wait, so which engines did we cut? The right or the left? The left. Pretty sure. Mm-hmm. So we built our house on an Indian burial ground. <laughs> we typically cut the left. We took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. So, so if you cut the left, and we were already turned towards Dogar. Depending on how long we were turning left. But that wouldn't have mattered. Once we hit the, gr- once we hit the water, we're still over that... Well, we're, ocean. I'm just telling you right now, it would have taken a lot longer than 24 hours to row our way to either of the other two continents. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. A good point. We have to be somewhere north or south of Dovkey. If you I had just, to guess. You would just think that, like, if we're if you're in Mock Dune right there, or you're near Mock Dune or the Hundred boat. Nations, that we would know about, they would have come across these creatures they'd be fairly well known well i mean people had heard of skeletons being found but yeah if they're roman did we die or enter an alternate dimension when that giant bolt of lightning can happen nothing is when we uh when we saw the land did it did it span the entire horizon yes Maybe we went back in time. I don't know. I just know that I found my new purpose in life to find new friends and a stable and some saddles. And I will be the dino king and king of this land. Who is Asulahi, Alec? The god of rain and mystery. Mystery. Are we in the underdark again? No. (laughs) I would not do that to you guys. We couldn't get out of that place. Where we are, dark underneath. Who's a good Arnie? Who's a good Arnie? If we you, find we a temple, a... don't go in it. <coughs> that made you depressed. <laughs> we had an electric turtle instead of an electric kraken this time. <laughs> I have a broken leg. It ruined Christian's life last time. <laughs> but it also created a new character. 
golden hands. Yeah, that's true. We it's, already have so many know, characters yeah. for Doc, though. <clears throat> true. He's, he's a borderline the... multiple person. Oh, he's definitely bored. Like, <laughs> 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 we need to find the tarot line. cards again. <laughs> <laughs> I would say very no. less than borderline. Very much uh, straight Just, up multiple yeah. personalities. Yeah, yeah. Deck of many things. Here we come. And Doc probably wouldn't touch the uh, the tarot deck, but one of his personalities might. <laughs> one of his every one of his personalities would touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Roberto would... definitely would. Sinbad would think about it. Act like he wasn't going to, and then definitely do it. There would be an we don't... internal conversation where everyone agreed. Yeah, we wouldn't. We don't know what Zoro would do. Zoro hasn't really made himself known yet. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, who all do I have? No deck Just of many dog. things either. And bad and Roberto and Zoro. <laughs> My note for Roberto is Roberto may be gay. <laughs> Usually scared. Always scared. <laughs> Roberto may be gay. He's scared to be himself. <laughs> Afraid to, afraid to come out of that closet. Which is why Sinbad had to reveal himself, because Roberto was not making anything happen. And we needed someone confident at one point, and Sinbad came out. <laughs> Zoro was peeking his head out whenever we were in... Gosh, whatever that... Si place was we were just at. Mock Dune. No, not Mock Dune, the other place. Maybe it's prehistoric Mock Dune. Hmm. I think something happened oh, when that giant bolt of lightning happened. But the giant bolt of lightning came from Herschel's <laughs> shell. I but watched it happen. <laughs> But maybe it was so big, it was kind of like one of those Back to the Future events where they, the DeLorean gets too charged up and they go into the future or something. I mean, I can tell you from first-hand experience, first-hand sight, that <laughs> the ex lightning explosion was bigger than the explosion of the ship hitting the water. See what I'm saying? I did watch that happen. The lightning explosion was bigger than the ship hitting the water? Yeah, so whenever the like the airship hit the water and exploded... Mm -hmm. The lightning explosion from whenever y'all's boat hit the water and Herschel hit the water was bigger than the airships. And I definitely think it was the god who sent us here. Obviously. Explains the land of mystery. The benevolent god he is. Maybe, maybe they sent us back because as it is, we can't travel to get the staff because we can't get permission from Unity until after we secure their deal. He said we couldn't we couldn't go check for the staff until after he got his ships. Old Jonathan didn't pray to llamas good enough. We got sent to this uh, shithole. You ain't wrong though. <laughs> Note to self: with anything bad happening.